You there. You're the one they call Dragonborn. Your lies fall on deaf ears, Deceiver. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. If you're looking for passage to Solstein, too bad. I'm not going back there anymore. Sure. Yeah, that's me. Why? Who sent you? Now, hold on. That wasn't my fault. I didn't know they were going to attack anybody. I don't even know how I got here. It's hard to explain. I remember those people with the masks coming on board. Then, the next thing I remember, I was here, and they were gone. It's not right losing whole days like that. There's been something strange going on there for a while. But after this, I'm done. Not going back to Solstein. Have you been listening to me? I'm not going back there. Hold on now. I'm just a simple sailor. I never wanted to get mixed up in any of this. All right, I'll take you. But we leave immediately. is Raven Rock. Can't say I'm all that glad to see it again. Good luck. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here. Visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. That's the kind of attitude that's going to land you in prison. But I'll let it go for now. Just remember, Ravenrock is sovereign territory of House Rederon. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? 
Giolan. I was starting to wonder what happened. We, uh, we were delayed by bad weather. Before you even ask, yes, I had the supplies you requested. But... But what? This smoke cost me double what we'd agreed on. Nothing I can do about it. Damn it, Jolland, you know we don't have that much coin. Well, the East Empire Company didn't give me a choice. They raised their prices again. And there's nothing I can do about it. After all these years, they're gouging us for every last drink we had. Let me talk to Laryl. I'll see what we can do. All right, then. Don't worry about rushing. Just pay me when you can. Find yourself in the ash wastes. Keep your eyes to the ground. Ash spawn went to spring up from nowhere. Your visit here will be tolerated as long as you abide by our laws. Otherwise, you'll answer to the Redoran guard. I... I'm unsure. I swear I know the name, but I cannot place it. I don't think so. I'm not... The, the name has something to do with the... Earthstone, I think, but I'm not sure what. I have to be. As second counselor, the security of Raven Rock is my primary concern. This isn't exactly the city of Blacklight. We're on the frontier out here. We've had more than a fair share of troubles. After all we've been through together, I refuse to let Councillor Morvane down. Councillor Morvane is House Redoran's representative on Solstein. As second councillor, it's my job to support him and make certain his rule is enforced. Ravenrock started out as an Imperial settlement, but the Empire decided to abandon it just as my people were first setting foot here. They left the town a shambles, and when House Redoran took over, we turned it around, and it became ours. And even if it's been a struggle to make this island livable, we're proud to call it home. Your ignorance of our homeland doesn't surprise me. It's the capital of Morrowind. Been that way ever since Mornhold was sacked by the Argonians. I don't visit there often anymore, but we still get the occasional supply ship and visitors from Quite a while ago, yes. They cut a bloody swath across most of the southern region of Morrowind. Nobody seems certain why it happened. Attempted expansion? Revenge for the enslavement of their people? Or perhaps both? Whatever the case may be, thousands of Dunmen needlessly lost their lives, and many more were exiled from their homeland. Remember, we are watching you. You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taken my pickaxe again. No, 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 this isn't just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. They don't exactly grow on trees, you know. Um, I prefer to handle these things on my own. Look, if you see Crescius, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. No, I... wait... maybe... I don't know how I know that name. I... I'm not sure. I don't want to talk about this. A fine question, and the one that I hear most often from visitors to our town. I wish I had a more romantic tale to tell, but I was simply seeking my fortune and chose Ravenrock to ply my trade. Besides, knowing how to repair bone mold armor wasn't very useful in Riften. 
I had a friend over there, a dark elf named Van Reith, a very talented armor smith. Spent a lot of time with the guy swapping smithing techniques. Learned a heck of a lot, including how to repair bone mold. After he moved on to greener pastures, I decided to pack up, move out here, and put those lessons to the test. Been here ever since. You tell Crushes he better give that pickaxe back to me, or else. seem to be in quite the same state as the others here. Very interesting. May I ask what it is you're doing here? I know it. No, no, no. It sounds familiar, and yet I can't quite place... Oh, wait, I recall. That makes very little sense. Yeah, it's been dead for thousands of years. I'm not sure, but it is fascinating, isn't it? Perhaps it has some relation to what's going on here. Quite unexpected. I'm afraid I can't give you any answers, but there are ruins of an ancient temple of Mirax toward the center of the island. If I were you, I'd look there. That's that then. The ash from Red Mountain holds secrets. Secrets I mean to uncover. Building something, clearly. And yet, they don't seem to have much to say about it. I'm very interested to find out what happens when they finish. Certainly not. Doing so would interfere with whatever is going on. And I would be unable to see how this all turns out. The ignorant think it is only a place of ash and lava. It has rolling green plains and swamps and verdant hills, too. There is the big island of Ardenfell and the coastal mainland. House Telvani has its properties on Bardenfell. I've never been to the mainland myself. When the city of Vivek was destroyed, it took decades for us to rebuild. We are still but a shadow of our glorious past, but someday we will rise again. It's the homeland of the Dunmer. The lesser races call us Dark Elves. We built great works there, like the Deck and Aldruin. Many of them are destroyed now, either by Red Mountain or the Argonian invasion. That's it grows that ever near to us. Our eyes once were blinded. Now, three, that seems three, inadvisable. Three. Oh. Now, through Ah, so you are able to speed. resist the effect by exerting your will. Fascinating. I would not advise touching the stone again. The effects of repeated contact could be. Unless, of course, you'd like to contribute to my investigation. It could be very enlightening to observe you. That world. I wonder if a dragon could be captured alive. It would make a fascinating yeah, test of something. Right. <laughs> That's that step. That they have forgotten. back to the mainland. Gallon's the only way off.
Though our spirits may be low and danger lurks beyond the light, I am confident that they will never abandon us again. Are you here to pray? Or perhaps pay your respects at our ancestral tomb? Hmm, sounds like something from a dream, and yet it might be more strange. I remember a temple on Solstheim and working to build something. It, uh, it was not a pleasant dream. May Azura Mafala and Boethia guide you. I wasn't sure I'd make it off this farm alive. I wish I could have said the same for my man here. Some of the Redoran Guard have taken to calling them Ashspawn. Me, I don't care what they're called. All I know is they're a danger to Raven Rock and they need to be stopped. I was going to search for clues that might lead me to wherever they're coming from. I know it isn't the best place to start, but we know they've been coming from this direction. Hmm. I think I could talk the counselor into paying you, and I could use an extra pair of hands. Besides, I don't feel comfortable leaving Raven Rock behind, and I'd hate to lose any more Redoran Guard. We were searching the farm when the Ashspawn ambushed us. Have a look around and see if you can turn up anything useful. This is strange. The note says it's from General Falk's Carriers. But that's impossible. Well, Carius was the Imperial Garrison Commander at Fort Frostmouth, but he died over 200 years ago when the Red Mountain leveled the place. There's no way he could still be alive. If General Carius is still alive, there must be something keeping him that way. I need you to head out to Fort Frostmouth and check it out. I'm gonna head back to Raven Rock and prepare the men for further assaults. No one knows, really. Superstitious folks say they're the risen forms of those that died long ago. But I'm not so certain. They started attacking the Bulwark a few weeks ago. My men were able to kill them, but they keep coming back. We've had two other assaults on the Bulwark, at different spots on the wall. I know it sounds crazy, but it's almost like they're becoming more organized and probing it for weaknesses. Exactly. Something has to be directing them against us, and we need to find out who or what it is. Uh, I might know someone, or maybe not. I can't remember. I... I can't. I just can't be sure. I think maybe he had something to do with a temple, a, a, a temple here on the island. Does that help? Be careful. This General Curious sounds out of his mind.
long have they stood here, I wonder? Just leave me be. With me? What's the matter with you? Sorry, I've just had a lot of hawk-faced cowards coming by to mock my efforts. Ah, uh, it probably can't hurt to tell you. You look mostly honest. The name's Rallis. Rallis Sidaris, out of Morhold. I've got a financier waiting for me back on the mainland. Sent me here in the interests of obtaining some rare antiquities. The relics of Arzador. But this whole thing became a disaster right quick, let me tell you. You come out of the Northern Ashlands, you don't expect things to go easy, you know. But this was something outside my particular expertise. When I first got to Colbjorn, you couldn't even see it. Buried in the ash, like most other things on this blasted island. Dug out a pile of the stuff taller than me just to find the barrel. Who knows how much to reach the door. Excavating isn't exactly my specialty. Even if it was, the ash storms fill it in faster than you can dig. You think I've got that kind of money? No. I only get paid on delivery. Can't afford to go out of pocket for a thousand septums on this. Takes money to make money, all that rot. There's a lot of it at the other end. But I can't get there without a little kick to start it off. You ever hear of Azadol? He was the first great Nord enchanter, maybe even the first human to master elven methods. His best work was buried with him, though. A set that my patron calls the Relics are supposed to be down in his tomb. Now, they're old, and they're powerful. A combination like that makes them pretty valuable to certain people. And I happen to know certain people. What? Are you... Are you serious? Well, I think I could make that work. We can sort out the details of our little arrangement later. But for now... I'll manage the dig, if you can manage the coin. Do you have the gold? Hmm. It's all here. Well then, looks like I have a good bit of work to start on. I'll head back to Raven Rock and round up some diggers. Once we've got something worth looking at, I'll send word to you. Pleasure doing business with you, partner. I'll see you soon. Men, an invader is under... Fort Frostmoth will never fall. Long live the Empire! Ah.
Got up. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. What news do you bring from Fort Frostmoth? 
I had my suspicions that he was undead. How else could he have survived for over 200 years? It's a shame. There are quite a few tales of General Curious' exploits, including the founding of Raven Rock. Councillor Morvane told me to give this to you if you made it back in one piece. And you got rid of General Curious. Better than a soldier's pay, so you should be thankful. It can be. Even the most experienced warriors can fall prey to petty distractions. They usually didn't amount to much, but they make my job that much harder. Some of my own men have become quite accustomed to a spirit they called Ember Brand Wine. Despise the stuff myself. It's powerful and tremendously addicting. I've seen men fail to finish even a single flask. If I knew where they were stashing the bottles, I'd put an end to it myself. I certainly hope so. All of the soldiers in this town are Redoran Guard. Some of the best warriors that House Redoran has to offer. I've spent quite a few years honing their skills, and I can assure you they're not just your average city guard. To protect Councillor Morvane, of course. He has quite a few friends on the council back in Morrowind, and they wanted to ensure his safety while he was here. Other than that, I'm not at liberty to discuss it. Thank you for your assistance. It's raised my men's spirits quite a bit. Yes. And what might you need, hmm? Did I know someone by that name? Someone... Someone that wanted something. Maybe I'm just confused. I can't be sure. Safe travels. Welcome to the Wretching Netch Corner Club. Home of the finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Watch yourself out there. Looks like an ash storm might be brewing. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Tend to wander Solstein. Can I help you? Your efforts in Raven Rock have proven most invigorating for my husband. I haven't seen him this pleased in many years. Traveling beyond the bulwark will be much safer as a result of your victory at Fort Frostmouth. Many thanks. On behalf of House Redoran and as Counselor of Raven Rock, I bid you welcome. Do I? What a strange thing. It sounds so familiar, and yet I cannot place the name. I'm not even sure. I can picture a temple here on Solstein. Must have been a bad dream. You've never heard of House Redoran? 
We're the mightiest of the great houses, and we lead the council, the ruling body of Morrowind. This isn't Skyrim, Outlander. A group of powerful and influential Dunma families have been ruling Morrowind for millennia. They embody a council made up of five great houses. Telvanni, Dres, Indoro, Sadras, and Redoran. Well, of course, with four other houses on the council, someone has to keep the rabble organized. Our house leads the council by virtue of our preeminence in battle, wisdom, and ancestral glory. Yes, I imagine it would to someone not of our people. If you're interested in pursuing the subject, help yourself to any of the historical volumes in my library. Solstein is theoretically under my rule, but without revenue from the mine. I lack the resources to actually govern anything but Ravenrock itself. Not that there's much beyond the confines of our town anyway. Well, there's a small enclave of Nords to the north in Skull Village. They pretty much keep to themselves, and we both like it that way. Then there's Telmithrin to the east. The Telvani live out there. Sort of a strange lot. But since we're both from Morrowind, we get along. Other than that, Solstheim is crawling with bandits and weaklings. But that's to be expected living in a frontier like this. It used to be one of the richest ebony mines in Morrowind, but it dried out years ago. Now, we're barely holding out here. Without the mine, Ravenrock doesn't feel like it can last much longer. My doors are open if you wish to discuss matters involving Ravenrock. Your Assisting the Redoran Guard, guard with the Ash Spawn attacks has husband. earned you quite the I reputation. Seen this here. Pleased in many years. Keep it up. Last time I rode Yarn's ship, I was even me guts for a week. Him do we see? Another order. No. Etheric order. I think that's what. Why are you out here? Are you supposed to be in the tower assisting the people? summoning work. If you must know, I am trying to get this Ash Guardian spell to work. Now let me concentrate. Besides, shouldn't you be worrying about the damage to the tower? Master Nelov has tasked Elenia with repairing the tower. Why do this in the lab, where it would be safer for all of us? The, uh, the lab is too small. Also, I need the ashy sword. Master Nelov knows what I'm doing. No need to bother him about it, though. He's quite busy at the moment. It's on your head if something goes wrong. Just let me get back inside first. Oh, Ashgard. Maybe the book is. I see you in Ravenrock. This is a Talvani tower. It's my citadel, grown from the spores of the giant fungus trees found in Morrowind. Back in the homeland, there are other Talvani wizards that have them as well. The Talvani are the master wizards of Morrowind. The greatest of us grow magical towers like this one from the mighty fungus trees. Together we form House Telvane, one of the great houses of Morrowind. The great houses rule what is left of our once proud tradition.
Winterhold, that small college that is falling into the sea of ghosts? You're the one that recovered the Staff of Magnus. Impressive. Talvis should finish his apprenticeship in a couple of decades. Come see me then. I think I could teach you a trick or two. How am I supposed to get anything done with part of the tower withered like this? I'm running low on heartstones. If you have any with you, I'll buy one. Otherwise, I can tell you where you might find one. Every time the Red Mountain belches, more of them land here. Look around for impact craters, exposed rock, that sort of thing. You may need to pick away at it to pry the heartstone itself loose, but you look strong. A good luck. Now, where did I put... Oh, yeah. You've got to help me. I conjured an Ash Guardian, and now it's running amok. Thank you. I was hoping you would. Hurry, I'll keep Master Nell off this track. What was that? I'm guessing you've never seen a silt strider before. This is Dusty. I personally trained her from a lava. Feels like a lifetime ago now. She hasn't been in traveling condition for quite a while now. I've tried to let her go off on her own, but she insists on staying here. We get by trading odds and ends with the locals. I've decided to stay here and make sure she passes in peace. It's the least I can do for her. Every once in a while, a local makes it out here. Although they usually just want to catch a glimpse of Dusty. Silt striders are pretty rare now. What would you like to know? The blast from the volcano wiped most of them out. Found Dusty in a small cave on Vardenfell. Silt strider cocoons are pretty tough. Mostly for transporting goods and people. Pretty commonplace in Morrowind, but that was ages ago. A silt strider carapace is so strong it can withstand the harshest of weather. Even the legendary sandstorms of Valdenfell's Molagama region were said to barely make a dent in them. Of course, that's all ash now. All right. Safe travels.
Lead, I'll follow. Guardian gone? What a relief. Master Neloth surely would have punished me had he found out. I don't have any gold to pay you with, but I can give you the staff. Oh, it turns out that the spell requires a heart stone to cast properly. I didn't have one with me when I cast it. If you cast the spell without a heart stone, it attacks anything in sight. I wonder if a dragon could be captured alive. Excellent. I'll take it. Here, have some symptoms. Now, where did I put... Oh, yeah. Good day, friend. Heartstones are only found on Solstheim, as far as I know. Master Neloth believes they may be fragments from inside Red Mountain that were flung here during the huge eruption 200 years ago. I'd better get going.
有大人物。
distract me. I must dedicate myself to maintaining the barrier. We have come south to test our worth against the mighty Netch. Will you join us? The giant air floaters from the dark elf lands. Only the brave dare to hunt them. Only the strong survive them. Come, test yourself against the beast with us. We all will share in the glory of the hunt. A warrior expects nothing and therefore is ready for anything. If our aim and our hearts are true, the Allmaker will grant us strength. If not, today is as good a day to die as any other. Either way, they will sing songs of our bravery around the campfires for many years. Luck? Luck will play no part today. We will earn our victory or return to the Allmaker.
They're in my head. I know things, hidden things, things you aren't supposed to know. No, that's what I'm trying to say. The secrets, they're in there, in there deep. You can't get them out. They're in my head. The secret kind. Black book. It shoved them in there with black, slick fingers. My fingers are too short. I can't get them out. Oh no, I didn't find it. It found me. Here, I'll show you. See? Right there. But don't go there. You don't want these things in your head. You don't. You don't. I swear you won't leave here alive. That's your best, huh? Ah!
Reaper said it would be. But either way, we have to try. Whether we succeed or not, it'll stir up some of the old blood in this crowd. I'm not going to lead them to their deaths if they aren't ready. Then train them. What are we doing here? We should either get used to staying here, or be preparing to retake the hall. You're having us do neither, and I can't stomach it. But your stomach isn't my problem. We'll act when I say we do, and not before. Well, you'd better say something, and soon. I'd be better off with some meat in my belly, but the air in Solstheim is almost as sweet. We brought ourselves out here, along with our shame. We used to be proud warriors of Thirst Mead Hall, there, up on the hill. But we let that sweet life get the better of us. We grew soft and... Reeklings. Those filthy vermin, they came in numbers, waves of the things. One at a time, they're pests, but with this many. And so here we are, out of our home. Do you know of the Skull? A long time ago, a man named Rothmund left the Skull to form his own tradition. Warriors in the wild, living like the Nords of old. They would hunt, they would fight, and the mightiest among them would rise up as leader. But those days are behind us now. Until next time. A new batch of the Ashfire should be ready for bottling soon, unless the Reeklings used it for battle. Have you been by Thirsk? Have you seen... Is there any of the mead left? I make it, I drink it, I share it with friends. Ha! Thirsk didn't always make its own mead. No, we used to get by on shipments from Skyrim. But those gold grubbers at the East Empire Company started charging more than their share for bringing it over. We still buy what we have to, but I make as much as I can. I wouldn't be at Thirsk if I wasn't. These days I focus a little more on the creature comforts of the hall, though. The food, the drink, the stories. It drives Kuvar mad, but someone has to do it or the place would be a little... Well, the easy answer, of course. Mead! Actually, now that I think of it, I have been missing the Ashfire. It's a special brew that we make at Thirsk. If you could somehow get up there and grab a bottle, I'd be a long way towards forgetting how miserable it is down here. All right, then. Yes, this camp is small, but it's all we have left. Unless you can help, leave us in peace. I wouldn't call it that. We've just got a bit of an infestation is all. Down here to catch our breath, and then we'll be back in the hall once I get the rest of these up to move. Reeklings. You must have passed by the hall on your way down here. Well, it's been overdone. We're just out here temporarily, to regroup longer than I would have liked. What's going on here is that we've been kicked out of our home. The Mead Hall, up there on the hill. We were... Some Reeklings have taken it over. With tenacity and numbers, it didn't help that we'd grown a little too comfortable up there. Too much Mead, too many stories. Too few battles. Are you offering to help? Some new blood should be enough to rouse these layabouts to actually fight again. Well, I hope you'll come back around. Looks like you might be just the thing we need to wake these idiots. If you hear about the Reeklings, just tread quietly around my sister. It just came on so quickly. That depends on who you ask. I fight, I protect the hall, I bring in meat. And I think I could take on most of the tree lovers up in the Skull Village. 
But because I'd rather drink a mug of meat at night instead of training until I drop, Kuvar calls me a layabout. Wish he would just lighten up. You don't know the half of it. Bujul's just embarrassed, I think. Doesn't help that her husband is one of the loudest complainers. She's always been quick to shame. Kuvar. He thinks we've all gotten a little too soft. I can see what he means looking at Elmas, but the rest of us still have our edge. At least, I think so. And don't tell Elmas I said that. I wish you'd stop acting like I've grown weak. Look around you, Kuvar. If any of us were strong, you don't know the half of it. Bujul's just. She's it's always been quick fair. to shame. Can still take it back. Once the rest of you are All my life, she's my big sister. Mind. Don't worry. Most people can't tell we're related. But she's always trying to be the one in charge. I'm feeling terrible when something goes wrong. Good day. Have you been by Thursk? Have you seen... Is there any of the mead left? I don't really have need time need to get for back this. to my anvil. Sorry, Have you friend. been by Thursk? Have you seen... You is there any of the meat? Oh, that's the stuff, all right. You're a good friend to Thursk and to me. I thank you. Until next time.
his temple. You must fight against what is controlling. But they... You must listen to me. Isra, can you hear me? You must leave this place. You there. What brings you to this place? Why are you here? I am Freya of the Scar. I am here to either save my people or avenge them. I am unsure. Something has taken control of most of the people of Solstein. It makes them forget themselves and 
and work on these horrible creations that corrupt the stones, the very land itself. My father, Storm, our shaman, says Mirak has returned to Solstheim, but that is impossible. Then you and I both have reason to see what lies beneath us. Let us go. There is nothing more I can do here. The tree stone and my friends are beyond my help for now. We need to find a way into the temple below. Must be rooted out. His story is as old as Saul's time itself. He served the dragons before their fall from power, as most did. A priest in their order. But unlike most, he turned against them. He made his own path, and his actions cost him dearly. The stories say he sought to claim Saul's time for himself. And the dragons destroyed him for it. There are few of us left unaffected by this curse. My father Storm, the shaman, protects them in the village. I fashioned an amulet to guard me against whatever has taken hold of the skull, but it is the only one of its kind. If I cannot find a way to save them, there is no hope for our people. It is an ancient stone of power, a connection to the All-Maker. It represents one of the aspects of nature, a part of the All-Maker's creation. There are other stones around Solstein. I fear for what has happened to them. We have lived on Solstein for many generations. Our people are tied to the land itself. We try to serve the All-Maker, to live in balance with nature, instead of exploiting it, as others would. Are you ready to help me now? We should not delay. We should check these rooms for supplies before heading further into the temple.
not wish to imagine the kinds of things that happened in this chamber. Who are the poor souls trapped in these cages? What tortures did they suffer at Mirak's hands? Was it in service to the dragons? Or for his own purposes? Look up there. I think I see something. I have no doubt you can find a way up. You never know. You may find something of value up there. I shall look around. We can proceed when you are ready. Thank <laughs> you. 
foolish to attempt. You have a much better chance than I to make it through these traps. I have no doubt that lever turns this blade. I shall wait here for now. great pains to make it difficult to reach him, it seems. Let us hope that is the last of these traps. there would be something down here. Do you know those spells already?
Impossible. There must be something more. Look around. I will let you know if I find anything in the dining area. in the dining area just opened up. This must be... Something here that tells the story of Mirak. Nothing but ruined books. I do not recognize this statuary. We passed by a few of them earlier, but. They are becoming more frequent as we get further in. Hmm. I do not like this place. It almost looks as if these statues will come to life at any moment. It is eerily quiet. I do not suspect that will be the case the further we go. Be on your guard.
steady yourself. This book, it seems wrong somehow. Here, yet not. It may be what we seek. I must not fail my people. show this to my father. Perhaps Storm can make sense of what is going on. Come, there looks to be a way out through here. Tell Storm what we have seen. You see that green light? That comes from the windstone, where my people work against their will. They must be freed soon. The village is just ahead. Thorn has used his magic to raise a barrier around it, protecting the few of us left. That the barrier is still there is a good sign. Yet hope. Sreya, what news do you 
Ring. Is there a way to free our people? No, but I have brought someone who has seen things. He has confirmed that Mira is indeed behind the suffering of our people. I feared that it would be so. But how is that possible? After all this time? I fear there is too much we do not yet know. Please, tell Storm. So you have seen things, yes. My magic grows weak, and so does the barrier around our village. Time is short. Tell me what you know. Really? How? The legends speak of that place. Terrible battles fought at the temple. The dragons burning it to the ground in rage. They speak also of something worse than dragons buried within. Difficult to imagine. But if true, it means what I feared has come to pass. Mirak was never truly gone, and now has returned. If you could go to this place and see him, are you like Mirak? Are you Dragonborn? Then perhaps you are connected with him. The old tales say that he too was Dragonborn. I am unsure. It may mean that you could save us. Or it may mean that you could bring about our destruction. But our time here is running out. The few of us left free of control cannot protect ourselves for much longer. You must go to Sering's Watch. Learn there the word that Mirak learned long ago. And use that knowledge on the Windstone. You may be able to break the hold on our people there, and free them from control. Much of what was known has been lost to the ages. He was dragonborn, and yet he served the dragons. A priest in their order, highly esteemed and very powerful. Then he turned against them becoming something they feared. He was defeated long ago, but it seems he was never really destroyed. Some dark influence wields power over them, forces them to forget themselves and act against their nature. At first, it was only during the night. But now every moment is spent building some strange shrine around the windstone. I believe if the shrine can be destroyed, the skull will be free once more. Mirak is behind what is happening to our village, and so the knowledge she has gained as Dragonborn is at the heart of it. You are Dragonborn as well. You too can wield this power, perhaps to a better end. May darkness never touch you. If anyone can help us now, it is you. She died when I was very young. She was caught in a terrible snowstorm while returning home from gathering firewood. You must understand that for the Skull, life is a constant hardship. We take nothing for granted. We cannot afford to. Between the wolves, the weather, and the threats in the south, even a simple task like gathering wood for the fire can turn deadly in an instant. We are bound to this land, like a great pine with roots that run as deep as the tree is tall. I know it must seem strange to you, but for us, the thought of leaving our village is equally strange. The land and the skull are one. 
There is no other way to say it. It was Scarf the Giant, our former chieftain, who taught me the ways of battle. He was a great bear of a man, and a fearsome warrior. I used to be terrified of him when I was a little girl. I was a restless and angry child, and Scarf taught me swordplay so that I could, as he used to say, put that fire to good use. He was a great man, and a good leader. I miss him dearly. I'll make her guide you. Farewell, Alexander. My Do not disturb, disturb us. us. We do not still have much time. Sick. Let's see. Thank you. 
It takes a strong will to command the dragon's soul. Perhaps you want to strong.
myself. What in Mundus am I doing out here at this hour? This is both fascinating and terrifying. What happened? Fascinating and terrifying. The whole village is here. What sort of I don't is know this? what spell you freed us you from must outside. Be going mad. But I thank then you. So must everyone. Thank you, my friend. You have set us free. I can't speak now, friend. Return home. The air is different. We are safe, which means you have succeeded. So it is. You have proven yourself an ally to the Skull, and so the Skull shall be allies to you. If you have released the Windstone and broken the hold on my people, Perhaps you can do the same for the rest of Sunstein. I doubt it will fully stop whatever Mirak is doing, but it may slow his progress. I cannot help with that. None here can. You will need the knowledge Mirak himself learned. You will need to learn more about this Black Book. Mirak had this? This does not look like something of the dragon cult. It is a darkling, unnatural. I would have nothing to do with it. But the dark elf wizard, Neloth. He came to us some time ago, asking about black books. I believe he knows a great deal about them. Perhaps too much. Seek him out to the south. Be cautious, dragonborn. There is something else at work here. Maker shelter you. For many years now, I have attended to Storm, learning his ways. So the dragons have returned. Well, the skull have survived worse. We must look to the All Maker for guidance in these dark times. Our traditions do not speak of them, but they and Mirak are connected. You read a black book and saw him. And the book's power comes from the same dark source as that which corrupted the Windstone. But beware, you are now walking the same road as Mirak. He also is searching for you. In fact, he has already found one. He showed it to me when he came here. It was very like the one you found in Mirak's temple. A thing of dark magic, not of the War Maker. The power of the stone had been corrupted. It was the source of the influence that had taken control of the skull. Your shout broke whatever evil will controlled the stone, and restored its true nature as a conduit of the All-Maker's gifts. Freeing the other stones will diminish whatever dark influence is spreading across Solstheim. Yes, there are six sacred stones. Wind, water, earth, beast, sun and tree. Through them, the oneness of the land is maintained. Freya saw that the tree stone now stands imprisoned in Mirak's new temple. I doubt that you can free it until his power is broken. But you may be able to cleanse the other stones. 
Even if this does not stop Mirak, it surely will delay his return. You are an outsider, and I don't know if I can make you understand. I will try. The Allmaker is the maker of all things, and it is from the Allmaker that life flows like a great river. As all rivers must return to the sea, so all life returns in time to the Allmaker. I know our ways must seem strange to you, but the nine gods of the Empire are equally strange to us. As shaman of Skull Village, I serve as both a guide and a healer, as well as a keeper of traditions. I also remind the Skull to live as one with nature and to honor the will of the Allmaker so that we will be worthy to join him in death. Allmaker, shelter you. For many years now, I have attended to Storm, learning his ways. Fenari shows what it means to be a leader to the Skull. In time, perhaps I could lead as well. Farewell, outsider. It's been many winters since my husband returned to the Allmaker, but my heart still aches from the loss. I have goods to offer if you have need. My son's heart is restless. Many hunters pass through our village, and sometimes the Dark Elves of Ravenrock visit us. They bring us things from their homeland that we can't find on the island, such as spices, fine cloth, and ores that we cannot mine here. It's true we Skull prefer a simpler life than some, but we do still enjoy a luxury from time to time. May the sun light your path. Every winter, the ash from the angry mountains creeps closer. I am called Wolf Wildblood. I am first hunter of the Skull. I do enjoy sharing stories of my travels in Tamriel with young Nicholas. The elders talk of great cities much bigger than our village. But why would anyone need so many buildings? Mother worries when I walk too far from the village. She says a dragon might snatch me up, but I... The ash from the Red Mountain has made the land sick. If you would hunt a wolf, then you must know how the wolf thinks and moves. You must become a wolf yourself. Deer, bear, and horker provide most of what we need for skins and meat. Sometimes, when the wolves grow too bold and threaten the village, we must hunt them to cull their numbers. When we stalk large game, I lead our hunters in tracking the beast. It is also a way of saying that I am the most skilled hunter in the village. I doubt that an outsider could truly understand. But I hope my words have helped to answer your question. The first piece of wisdom I teach to any hunter of the Skull is to ask the simple question. We take only what we need, 
And so we preserve the oneness with the land. The Skull hunt not for sport, but to survive. We believe that all creatures have a right to live as they will. The less we disturb the land and the beasts within it, the more we respect the wishes of the Allmaker. May your hunts always bring you game. I came here to study the history of Solstheim, but it's the skull who intrigued me the most. Well, let me think. I suppose it's been nearly a year now. My goodness, how the time has flown. Well, not so far. They think I'm a bit I'm strange, dead. but they seem to that tolerate me. In fact, the they've basketball. been very accommodating. Hospitable even. They seem happy to talk about their traditions and history. Oh, no, most certainly not. I'm a historian. I'm here to learn about the history of Solstheim. Solstheim is a fascinating place. We know so little about its past. There are many mysteries that remain unsolved. Yes, that was a most disturbing experience. But to answer your question, the architecture was strange, almost otherworldly. Given that, and the considerable power it must have taken to affect our minds so completely, it would suggest the work of a powerful mage. Either that, or perhaps a Daedra. If so, then may the Nine protect us. Powerful and malevolent entities make their home on the plane of oblivion. Some of the more powerful men can exert their influence within our world. And when they do, men inevitably suffer. Until next time. It is the will of the All-Maker that fire would only from the dead. I've seen outsiders in our village before. I need to get back and make Master Nelloth's tea. This is just dreadful. Dreadful. Sarah, there's something you need. What happened?
Whoever did this.
need me to carry something? Neither hiss. It's a long way back to Windhelm from here. Hope our shipments are still good. How long has it been? Best be shoving off now.
was worried that I had sent you to your death. In life, Hevnorak drained his own blood from his body. His goal was to transfer his power back into himself after death, becoming a powerful lich. The vessels contain that very blood. Empty them, and you remove any chance he has of regaining his former powers. Very well. Empty the vessels into the scars near the throne. Then sit in the throne. When you have done so, I will unbind Havnorak. He will awaken in a weakened state. But the Lich is still to be reckoned with. Be ready. Officer of the Imperial Legion, I require your assistance to complete my mission. The General has sent me to obtain a powerful weapon for the war effort. This was the last great bastion of the Dragon Cult, and their leader's mask was reported to be quite powerful. Oh, well... Of course they disavow all knowledge. Spies are everywhere. Are you going to help me with my mission? I need someone very capable. Hmm. Are you going to help me with my mission? Very good. The research I've done seems to indicate that Scorm Snowstrider left part of his journal here after laying siege. I believe it should indicate how to enter the blocked-off sections of the Stronghold. I should warn you, Foral Host is quite haunted, but I'm sure you can handle it. Return to me here once you've obtained the mask.
those ruins. How long have they stood here, I wonder? The research I've done seems to indicate that Scorm Snowstrider left part of his journal here after laying siege. I believe it should indicate how to enter the blocked off sections of the stronghold. I should warn you, Foral Host is quite ho Oh, uh... <laughs> Hold on, I, I I can explain. Anska, are you here to help? I've finally located Vokan's crypt. The scroll I'm looking for just has to be here. Maybe you could help find it. I just know it's in here. Some old priest buried here long ago. I've been searching for his tomb for a few years now. If Vokun is as powerful as I think, I may need a little help um, dealing with him. You can have anything, except the scroll, of course. Great. With the two of us, this should be easy. That token, the guardian of the scroll, it must be just as a little something for helping me out. I've been looking for you. 
got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I got this from a pretty excited-looking dark elf around Raven Rock. He said it was important I got it to you as soon as I could. Looks like that's it. Got to go.
Your efforts in Ravenrock have proven most invigorating for my husband. Last time you explored the mine, you almost fell to your death. I'm not spending the rest of my days as a widow. And I'm telling you that I'll do whatever it takes to find my great-grandfather's remains. He's down here. I can feel it. That was almost two centuries ago. There may be nothing left to find. Just let me go, woman. Precious, you're an obstinate old fool and you're going to get yourself killed. for Cretius's ravings. Be careful out there. That foolish old man thinks he's 30 years younger than he is. He's going to get himself killed traipsing around the mine. He's convinced himself that there's some sort of conspiracy involving the East Empire Company and the mine's closure. We came across some old letters that belonged to his great-grandfather in our house, and he believes every word written in them. Precious's great-grandfather worked for the East Empire Company. The letters mention some sort of discovery he was sent to investigate. There's really nothing remarkable in the letters. I don't know what he's so excited about. Gratian Corellius. He was an explorer for the East Empire Company. They'd send him all over Tamriel when they had difficulties in a mining operation. Poor man. Can you imagine doing all that dangerous work just to end up dying at your own doorstep? There was a horrible accident, and he was killed when one of the tunnels collapsed. They were never even able to go down there and recover the body. The East Empire Company sealed that section off to prevent any more tragedies. Cretius is convinced it's a story cooked up by the company to cover up something else, but I don't know. My beloved is almost 80 years old, and I think the shock of finding one of his ancestors' things has left his mind a bit... confused. I love him dearly, and I support everything he does, but I can't let him chase this silly idea or he may end up joining Gratian in a rocky grave. To understand how we met one another, you have to appreciate what he's going through. Cretius is a third-generation miner. All his life, he's lived and breathed nothing else. By the time Cretius came of age, the ebony mine in Ravenrock was shut down. He took that quite hard. Our home has been in his family for over 200 years. Leaving would have been like abandoning precious memories. Instead, he stayed on Sol's time and spent most of his life prospecting for a new ebony source. Sadly, it never surfaced. A decade ago, this drove him into a deep depression. He shut himself inside his home and refused to come out. It was, after refusing to allow anyone to bring him food, Counselor Morvane ordered his door to be knocked down before Cretius starved to death. I was a temple priest at the time, and they had me use my healing arts to restore strength to his ailing body. I stayed for a while and cared for him, then... I suppose we fell in love. Far from it. In fact, I'm no longer welcome there. In all honesty, it came down to a disagreement between what I believe and what Elder Othraloth believes. I'd prefer not to get into the details. Let's just say our opinions about the current status of the Tribunal vary widely. Be careful out there. Who in the blazes are you? Can't you see I'm busy? Why should I tell you? I don't even know who you are. Exploring, huh? Most folks think this place isn't worth the effort. But mark my words, 
These mines hold a secret that could put Raven Rock back on the map. A secret the East Empire Company swept under the rug two centuries ago. It killed my great grandfather and left Raven Rock with a worthless and tainted mine. Gratian Kyrellius. He spent his entire life exploring ancient ruins across Tamriel. And he died in these very mines almost 200 years ago. The East Empire Company called it a terrible accident, claiming that he was lost in a rockfall, but I know better. My wife and I were cleaning out our home, and we came across some of my great-grandfather's things locked in an old chest. I found an unsent letter he'd written to the East Empire Company, and a key. It describes a discovery that was made in the mine by some of the diggers. They wanted Gratian to take a closer look. The East Empire Company must have felt it was of great value, as they locked that section of the mine off from everyone else. It is. Well, I assume it is. I haven't been able to find the entrance. Finally! Someone who believes me! I'm telling you, there's something big down there. Something that the East Empire Company wanted to hide from everyone. Look! My wife nags that I'm too old to go traipsing around these mines chasing my story. Time's my enemy. It's caught up with me before I could find the answers that I'm looking for. I do. I want to know what happened to Gratian, and what the East Empire Company is keeping from all of us. Gratian kept a journal of notes about his discoveries. If you can find his remains, I'm hoping it will help. Here's everything I have. The letter. The key, please, do this for me, so I can finally regain the respect that I've lost. Look, I know I don't have much to go on. I have that unsent letter, and that's really it. But I also have a miner's instinct that's run in my family from before Gratian was even born. I may sound like a crazy old man to you, but I'm telling you, the tunnels here are solid. They would never collapse like that. She thinks that old age has addled my mind, that I'm seeing things when there's nothing to be seen. I realize she cares about me, but she has to understand that I can't rest until I find out what happened to Gracia. Then I'll settle down peacefully and never set foot in this mine again. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, even before I discovered Gracia's old things. I just hope both of you don't mistake my enthusiasm for insanity. The damn fool doesn't even deserve to have it. The pickaxe was made for mining, not selling. I'll bet he stole it from the skull in the first place. Oh, very well. Here, tell him I hope he drops a thing on his foot. Be careful down there. Mine can be treacherous.
so. Another seeker at her knowledge enters my realm. I am Hermaeus Mora, Prince of Fate and Lord of Secrets. This is Apocrypha, where all knowledge is hoarded. Perhaps you will prove clever enough to uncover the secrets hidden here. If so, welcome. <laughs> Perhaps you are a fool or a coward. If so, you are in peril. Need your book again, and escape before Apocrypha claims you forever.
that. You picked Where a bad are... time to get lost. Fight of a Look at those ruins. How long have they stood here, I wonder? yet. The finest weapons and armor. You tell Crushes he better give that pickaxe back to me. Cretius on, I'll never understand. Poor Cretius is aging, and I believe it's addled his mind. As the years have passed, it's gotten worse. He's become obsessed with his theories of conspiracy. I'm sure he's down there somewhere, buried under a mountain of rubble like the East Empire Company claims. My greatest fear is that my stubborn mule of a husband will end up suffering the same fate. Be careful out there. You're back. Please, tell me what you found. Please, tell me what you found. Let me see that. Huh, I knew it. Gratian's death wasn't because of a rock fall. It was just a story to keep people away from the tombs. Now that I have his journal in hand, I can get some closure from the East Empire Company. Make them pay for lying to everyone. Thank you. Now, I believe I owe you a little more than a debt of gratitude for all that work you did. Here, it's not much, but it's the best an old retired miner can do. Our home has stood in Raven Rock since the colony was founded. Grayson helped build it with his own two hands. After Grayson died, he left behind a wife and a son. My grandfather, Relicus. Relicus lived there for quite a long time, working in the other sections of the mine until he was slain by rivers. I never knew my father. My mother and I always lived alone. I asked her about him many times, but she seemed angry and refused to speak about him. So eventually, I let it go. When I was old enough, I began working in the mine, hoping to make my fortune and eventually move to the Imperial City. Unfortunately, yes. 
I only had enough coins saved to send one of us back to the Imperial City. So I sent my mother alone. I wanted her to see her homeland before she died. Until I met my darling Aphia, yes. I suppose you could have called me a bitter old hermit. Now I'm just old. Mark my words, Raven Rock isn't finished yet. Allow me to apologize for Cretius' behavior. I'm afraid he hasn't been himself lately. Don't be put off by my husband's mood. He enjoys having visitors. There was a time when this town meant something. For all I know, I might be the last Imperial left on Solstheim. Those cowards left decades ago. Every single damned one of them. The moment the ebony mine dried up, they pulled up stakes. Ridiculous. Well, you know it as well as I do. Raven Rock Mine wasn't empty at all. It's still rich in ebony ore. I come from three generations of miners, and I couldn't get anyone to believe me. Well, we showed them, didn't we? Mark my words, Raven Rock isn't finished yet. We only got a little ways in when something managed to wake up the Draugr. Before I could blink, all the miners were dead, and I was next in line. Don't think anyone else made it out alive. This is what I get for skimping on labor. Well, unless you want to deal with the Draugr, this whole little venture of ours is over. Might be over either way. It looked like a dead end before the place started crawling. We could have missed something, though. I don't know. some hope for us yet. Now, I have to go recruit some more miners. 
it won't be easy seeing as none of their friends came back from the first attempt. We'll have to sweeten the pot a bit this time. I think I'll need, say, 2,000 septums to hire replacements. I never get tired of that sound. It'll take me a few days to dig up some more laborers, but swing back when you get a chance. See how we're doing. Look, this can be a slow business. Digging takes time. Come around later and I'll have something more interesting to show. Dior, you must be calm. I'm sure there's a good reason Baldor left us. Something isn't right, Fenari. I feel it in my bones and I smell it in the air. Baldor wouldn't leave without telling someone. Don't worry yourself over nothing, Dior. Do you want a head full of grey hairs before you've seen 40 winters? It makes my heart heavy that you don't believe me, Fenari. Baldor could be in danger and you will do nothing if you won't help me. Then I'll ask the Allmaker to send someone else who can. I am in no mood to talk, outsider. One of the Skull has gone missing. It is Baldor Ironshaper. As our only smith, Baldor is very important to the village. Hmm. I do not remember Baldor acting strangely. Although now that you ask, I did see something in the woods on the day he disappeared. I saw two elves in the far distance dragging something behind them. Hunters often visit our land, so I thought little of it. South and west. If your road takes you that way, perhaps you could search for any sign of Baldor. The skull would be grateful.
Great Mountain holds secrets. Say, how would you like to advance the art of magic? I suppose that depends. Are you willing to be an experimental subject? Oh, nothing too dangerous. It should provide an additional spectral tether from your own life spark to the Adric realm. You would experience it as a sort of increased vigor. You would fight longer, feel stronger, that sort of thing. At least I think it will, probably, almost certainly. Of course, you never can tell. Now stand still. It's my first time casting this spell, and I don't need any additional distractions. You won't feel a thing, but if you do, try not to scream too loudly. My ears are sensitive. Off you go. If you discover any side effects, come back and tell me straight away. How am I supposed to get anything done with part of the tower withered like this? Hmm, I might have a few staffs if you're interested in that sort of thing. to the tomes of esoteric knowledge that old Hermaeus Mora has scattered throughout the world? Is this somehow connected to your search for Mira? If you have to ask that, you'd probably be best leaving his books to wiser heads than yours. Like all Daedric princes, he's not to be trifled with, but he is subtler than most of his ilk appropriate for the Prince of Knowledge and Fate. Many scholars and law masters have been ensnared by the lore of learning the secrets that only Hermaeus Mora possesses. But don't worry, I have no intention of joining them in their endless search through the infinite halls of Apocrypha. Now, where did I put... Hmm? 
purifier to the tomes of esoteric knowledge? Is this somehow connected to your search for Mirak? Found one? Yes. And you read it too, didn't you? Don't try to deny it. You've got the look. I can see it now. Dangerous knowledge is still knowledge and therefore useful. Usually it turns out to be the most useful in my experience. Now that is a dangerous path indeed. Hermaeus Mora gives nothing away for free. You may end up like Mirak, of course. Two power mount Dragonborn. It could be very interesting. Oh yes, they're not hard to locate once you know how to look for them. I have one here that I've been using to locate more. Yes, I haven't been idle while this fascinating madness engulfed Solstein. But my book isn't what you're looking for. I'm quite sure it is unconnected with this Mirak. But I do know where to find a black book that can help you. Oh, it is clearly not associated with the same power that has overtaken the island. And I'm not talking about Hermaeus Mora. These black books are all his, of course. No, what you're looking for is a specific book, presumably because Mirak's power derives from it. Yes, I do. I haven't been able to get it, though. But maybe together we can unlock the secrets that Wemmer left behind. Forbidden knowledge was somewhat of a specialty of the dwarves, eh? You don't think they would just leave it alone, do you? It seems the ancient Dwemer discovered this book and took it to study. I found their reading room in the ruins of Nachardak. The book is there, but it's sealed in a protective case, which I wasn't able to open. But perhaps the two of us together will be able to get at the book. To Nachardak, then. Follow me.
certainly knew how to build for the ages. These towers have outlasted their creators by many. The book is housed inside that dome. I'll need to unlock the door for us. Let's get on with it. Here we are, Nachardak. The book we're after is right inside that dome. Shall we get on with it? Hmm, this place was deserted when I was here last. Wet, you say? I suppose, yes, I can see how that would have inverted the tether. Unfortunate. Couldn't you simply avoid water? No? No, that won't do. Can't have you forego bathing. The Ashlands can leave one a bit pungent, and it's uh, obvious you've been through them. Here, I'll just remove it. Here's a bit of coin. Should help mitigate your inconvenience. Shall we get on with it? to have everyone not running off to that damn sacred stone every night. I suppose I have you to thank for that. 
The book is housed in the main dome. I sealed the door the last time I was here as a precaution against thieves and other meddlers. If you have to ask that, like all Daedric Prince, many, but don't worry. I have no intention of joining them in their endless search through the infinite halls of Apocrypha. Hermaeus Mora has always tried to seduce mortals into his service with the law of forbidden knowledge. Where the black books actually came from, no one really knows. Some appear to have been written far in the past. Others might be from the future. Apparently, time is more malleable if you're the Daedric Prince of Fate and Destiny. Shall we get on with it? The Dwemer of Nachardak appear to have been fond of these control pedestals. Luckily, I found a cube to operate it inside on my last visit. I sealed the door when I left to keep out ignorant meddlers. Let me unlock it. The book is just inside. central for this kind of dirty, dangerous work. Nichardak, the city of a hundred towers. In its day, it was the largest of the great Dwemer archives, and perhaps the most advanced. In the old stories, when the Nords came to conquer it, it said that Dwemer submerged the entire city beneath the sea until the invaders gave up. I have my doubts, but the city was a marvel of Dwemer engineering, now reduced to this. As you can see, most of the lower levels of the city are flooded, but it isn't hopeless. The old Dwemer pumps still seem to work. Watch. But the pumps only operate when a cube is in the pedestal. Unfortunately, they only have one cube. These four boilers provide steam to the room upstairs. They're shut down, but they still respond to the control cubes. So, if we can find four more cubes, we can turn these boilers back on and restore steam power to the room upstairs. Then I should be able to open the book's protected case. Bring that cube. We'll need it. originally sunk during the first cataclysm of Red Mountain. Or 
that the Duena's servitors continued to try to preserve the city after their creator's disappearance. Three of the cubes are through here. This seems like a sensible place to start. You should be able to unseal this door with the control cube I gave you. focus on how to get up to the door on the north side of the workshop. Red Mountain dominates the island. Every now and then, ash and debris from an eruption land on our shores. It is the only place where silt striders can be found. Although I managed to transplant a few here when I arrived. You are too young to remember the Nerevery. Defeated Degarthur and saved us all from the blight. I thought I made myself clear the first time. The boilers in the Great Hall provide steam to the reading room upstairs, which we need in order to open the book's protective case. We need a total of five kilns, one to operate the pump in the Great Hall, the other four to activate the boilers. We still have kilns to find.
need to find enough control. The last cube is somewhere in here. I hope it won't require more swimming around in this filth. I'd guess that must be the pump activator up there. But how to reach it? We'll need to get all three of these bridges down in order to reach the pump control. Anything else? Quickly now. Who's there? <laughs> easier than I expected. I'm glad you were here to do all the hard work.
Chloe. Now, it should be as simple as... That should do it. At last. I hope it was worth it. Please, be my guest. You deserve the first drink. Besides, it could be very dangerous. The books are known to drive many people insane. What's the worst that could happen? Well, you could have your mind sucked dry by Hermaeus Mora. But that's supposed to be very rare. Aren't you going to read the book? I didn't go to all this trouble just to stand around admiring it. Hmm. Oh good, be sure to say hello to her mayor's corner for me.
seekers of knowledge come to me sooner or later. You have entered my realm. You have sought out the forbidden knowledge that only one other has obtained. You are dragonborn, like Mirak before you, a seeker of knowledge and power. your power as dragonborn to bend the world to your will. Ah, here then is the knowledge you need, although you did not know you needed it. The second word of power Using to bend the wills of mortals to your purpose. But this is not enough. Mirak knows the final word of power. Without that, you cannot hope to surpass him. Mirak served me well. And he was rewarded. I can grant you the same power as he wields, but all knowledge has its price. Submit to Mirak's voice. Without that power, you cannot face him. So say I, Hermaeus Mora, master of the tides of fate. Hmm, he has served me long and well, but. He grows restless under my guidance. His desire to return to your world will spread my influence more widely. But it will also set him free from my direct control. It may be time. To replace him with a more loyal servant, hmm? one who still appreciates the gifts that I have to offer. Knowledge for knowledge. The scar have withheld the secrets from me for many long years. The time has come for this knowledge to be added to my library. My servant, Muran, would have found a way to bring me what I want. So will you, if you wish to surpass him. Send the Skull Seaman to me. He holds the secrets that will be mine.
that you see. Different people have very different experiences when reading these books. You're still acting surprisingly sane, too. What did she have to say? He must have wanted something from you. Ah, what secrets could they have worth keeping from old Mora? Sounds like a bargain to me. Hermaeus Mora learns some fascinating new ways to skin a hawker, and you become the second most powerful dragonborn that ever lived. Well, that gives me a lot to think about. I need to get back to Talmithra. I have some ideas about how to locate more of these black books. I wonder if a dragon could be captured alive. It would make a fascinating test subject. So the dragons have returned. Well, the Skull have survived worse. Hermaeus Mora. Old Herma Mora himself. So he is the source of Mirak's power. Of course. We have many tales of Herma Mora trying to trick us into giving up our secrets to him. And now he comes again for what we have long kept from him. That is our name for him. The Demon of Knowledge. He has always been our enemy. Ah. Ancient lore. Handed down from shaman to shaman since the All Maker first gave Solstheim to the Skull. How to talk to the wind, how to listen to the earth. These are our secrets. Nothing of power or mastery. We know him as Hermamora, the demon of knowledge. It is in his nature to hoard secrets to himself. Their value to him is of no consequence. The very fact that the Skull have kept knowledge from him has merely increased his desire to have it. So it falls to me to be the one to give up the secrets to our ancient enemy. I do not know if I have the strength to face him. The Tree Stone is still corrupted, 
The land is still out of balance. But with the other five restored, it may be enough. It will have to be. Yes. The Skull also tell of the day when we must finally give up our secrets. When Hermamora finally wins. As Shaman, it is my duty to guard these secrets, but also to decide when it is necessary to give them up. I believe that time is now. If I am wrong, may my ancestors forgive me. Give me the book. I will read it and speak to old Hermamora myself. I will make sure he lives up to his part of the bargain. That is my hope as well. I am trusting that you will make this sacrifice worthwhile. Father, you must not do this. That book is wrong, evil, against everything you have taught me my whole life. I must, friend. It is the only way to free Solstein forever from Iraq's shadow. There comes a time when everything must change. Nothing that lives remains the same forever. Do not fear for me, my daughter. This is the destiny that the Old Maker has laid out for me. I stand beside you, Father, as always. I am ready for whatever the foul master of this book has in store for me. Father sacrificed himself so you could destroy Mirak and lift his master's shadow from the land. Go then, kill Mirak. Do not fail. I do not blame you. I know he chose this. I just wish he had seen another way. Freya will grieve, but she will prove a good shaman. Stone taught her well. He knew she was ready. You will stop, whatever that was, so that the evil does not swallow the skull like it did Storm. These are dark times. How will we get through them without Storm to guide us? What does it mean? What was that? What happened to him?
Storm was like a father to me, to all of us. I do not know what we will do without him. Freya, what happened? What was that thing? I thought the village was safe now. He has returned to the all -Maker. He is at peace now. No matter what that... I don't really understand what you did. But I trust you did it for the good of the village. So, thank you. A manifestation of Hermes Mora. The book Storm was reading. I've read vague hints of them, but never thought to actually see. Do not let his death be for nothing. Go! And stop, Mirak.
shield, and I may.
centuries. I always dreamt of being a pack of you. It's been so much fun. seeks to bargain with me. Let's make a deal. Until you summon me again.
Frostmoon Pack. You are welcome among us, so long as you mean no harm. Since I was born, my parents were members of the Pack, back when Majni's father was Alpha. After they died, Majni and Akar took care of me, taught me to hunt. I'm not as good as they are, but I do my best. <laughs> Why? Have you seen how they live? They cower behind their walls. Afraid of every ash hopper, every niche. No, I'd rather be here. Free to hunt. Free to live my life as I choose. Hersin, go with you. Welcome, brother. It's been too long since we met another who shares our blood.
Someone help me! Outsider, I remember you. You're the one who freed the skull from the dark spell. Thank the old maker that you have come. These accursed elves have taken me from my home. I do not know this word, Thalmor. But if you mean the elves, they were trying to learn the secrets of forging skull. Their leader, an elf named Ankarian, has a map. He says that it shows the location of a hidden source of Stolrin. They have a ship. They took me there and showed me the map. You will find it on the northern coast of the island. Please, do not let Ankarian make his weapons. Kill him or let him live. But take the map from him. It belongs with the skull. I will return to the village. When you have the map, please bring it to me there. And thank you. May the All Maker bless your days. I am truly in your debt, my friend. I do not think the elves would keep me alive for much longer. Glad to be free of those elves. I've never seen such greed and treachery in the creature before. What can I do for you? Hersin, go with you. Welcome, brother. It's been too long since we met another who shares our blood. Welcome, brother. It's been too long since we met another who shares our blood. I am Majni, Alpha of the Frost Moon Pack. You are welcome here, so long as you respect our law. Aye, the blood still runs true among some on the Solstein, as it has for centuries. We have chosen to embrace Lord Hirsin's blessing. You know it well. The speed and strength of the beast. The thrill of the hunt. The triumph of the kill. This is our purpose. Our way of life. So it was for my father and his father before him. And I welcome any who walk that path. You might find a few others, strays, lone hunters, but ours is the last true pack that remains. Meat, furs, bone, trophies of the hunt, but those are of little use to you. There is one more thing. Since the days of the great hunt, our pack has kept a set of rings, blessed by Lord Hirsin himself. I sense his favor on you. For you, I will part with them, if you can pay my price. Here, take a look. Huntsmen guide you. What? A car, Majni's brother. I hunt, he talks. Go talk to him. Deer, sabers, reeks, boar, bear. I hunt soon. Go bother Majni. <laughs> I don't trust you, Welp. Keep that in mind. For now, my pack lived in the mountains northeast of here, 
till they were wiped out. Damn werebears. Magini offered to help me reclaim my territory. I hunt with him until then. After that, we'll see. Hmm. <laughs> Greetings, Bloodkin. You are trespassing here. I strongly suggest you move along. You will find him on the deck. Any hint of treachery and your life is forfeit. Be careful! Do I look like the sort who suffers fools lightly? You are interfering with official Tholmore business. You will leave immediately if you value your well-being. So you know my purpose here, then. I suppose you must have found that dullard of a blacksmith. Unfortunately for you, my mission here is also a secret. To protect it, I have no choice but to silence you. Now, give me one good reason that I should not kill you where you stand. See, that is no idle threat. Very well. We will depart the island once we have loaded the ship. No weapon is worth dying for. Not even a weapon forged from Stalwin. Here, give this map to the blacksmith. I have no further need of it. Meddle in our affairs, and your end will be...
think he knew what would happen. He saw his death in that book. been looking for you. Got something wow. I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Another note from your friend Rallis. I hope everything is alright. Looks like that's it. I've got to go. Yes? I must know. I want to go sledding. Or skating. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. <sighs> and now you're back. Great. Just great. Draugr again. I mean, we should have expected it, right? What else do you find in these damned crypts? But waves and waves of Draugr. At least six of the diggers are dead. The rest of them ran off, and I don't blame them. You've had some luck with these things before. Do you think you could go back in? See if anyone's still alive.
figured. Damn. Well, at least we can get back to work. But hazard pay keeps piling up, and this won't be getting any cheaper. I'm going to hire some mercenaries this time, too. Having some people around who know how to fight, sure. Well, it'll set the miners at ease, and hopefully keep them alive. But they won't be cheap, either. It's going to hit 3,000 this time, I'm afraid. Have you got that on you? We're going to be making this back 50-fold. Trust me on this. I'll go hire a new crew and some brawny types to keep them safe. Come back and check in on us. Nothing can stop us this time. Look, this can be a slow business. Digging takes time. Sorry to bother you, but Second Councillor Rano asked me to come find you. He said it's quite urgent. All he wanted me to do is track you down and send you to him. Look, this is important. Even more important than wiping out the ash spawn. Please, go speak to the Second Councillor as soon as possible. Thank you for coming. After everything you've already done for Ravenrock, I hate to ask for more, but I can't risk Councillor Morvey being killed. The Ulan family of House Lalu, a rival great house, has placed a death mark on the Councillor's head. It's a private matter. Let's just say they seek revenge for the execution of one of their own ordered by Councillor Morvane himself. The problem is I don't have any solid proof that anyone from House Lalu is hidden among us. Only my suspicions. It may be justified, but it certainly isn't appreciated. Councillor Morvane simply feels that I'm being paranoid. I'm afraid that one day I'll awaken and discover him dead. I don't want it to come to that. I do. I've received some information from my sources that there could be elements of Ulan's house, House Lalu, already in Ravenrock. Ravenrock is a small settlement, so it's hard to accomplish anything in secret. If any of them is from House Lalu, I wouldn't be able to make a move without them knowing. I had a feeling you'd be willing to listen to me. I need you to start out by being my eyes and ears. Search Raven Rock. See if you can root out these traitors. The best place to start would be Geldis Sadri, over at the Retching Netch Corner Club. If he provides you any leads, check them out before bringing them to my attention. I can't afford to make any mistakes. Traitors. A lot of them. Their collaboration with the Empire may have given them unrivaled political and economic strength, but their hearts weren't with the Dunmer people. Lalu deserved every bit of hatred they received once the Empire released its grasp on Morrowind. Having passed ties to the Empire immediately turned them into the scapegoat for the Dunmer people's suffering. They had welcomed the Empire with open arms and benefited from it. When everything was said and done, 
They were no longer recognized as a great house and were dismissed from the council. You might think it's all perfume and roses now that the mine's open, but all I see is a new security problem on our hands. Making sure those shipments of ebony make it safely from the mine to the shipping docks is my new order of the day. And with Solstheim crawling with reavers and Azora knows what else, I can't risk any attacks on Ravenrock. I maintain a few contacts in other Dunmer settlements across Tamriel. Most hail from House Redoran, but there are a few from other houses. Most of my contacts live leagues away from Solstein. Sending the occasional message back and forth is all we can manage, and sometimes takes months or more to arrive. However, any information we can glean in times like this, I consider vital to House Redoran's survival. During the Oblivion Crisis, gates to the Plain of Oblivion opened all over Morrowind. The Empire pulled most of its forces out of Morrowind to deal with the gates in their own homeland, leaving us virtually defenseless. We had no standing army at the time, just uncoordinated pockets of resistance. House Redoran took charge and was slowly able to build an army. It took years. It became a force to be reckoned with. When the Argonians invaded years later, House Redoran's army was able to prevent them from sweeping across all of Morrowind. It would be fair to say that House Redoran literally saved the Dunmer people from destruction. Don't worry, you can trust Geldis. He's been with us for a long time. sent you here, but you've given us something to build on here. I hope someday we can repay you for your kindness. Destroying the ash spawn has made it safer to work in the fields. Thank you. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. to say that I grow or harvest most of it myself. I only wish I had a better source for netch jelly. Those creatures are difficult to track down since it's so dangerous beyond the bulwark. Well, I have these other ingredients for sale for now. It'll have to do. Remember, I have plenty of potions and ingredients if you're ever in the market. by the fire and I'll send someone over. The mines are open and the shop is busy again. Thank you. Welcome to the Wretching Netch Corner Club, home of a finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. How do you think? It's a blessing. I've got regular paying customers again. Thirsty workers at the end of the day and more coin than I can count. I don't know if Come I can do any this anymore, My Odin. doors are always open. Is it because of your father? Or is it me? He's never been the same since my mother died. <laughs> the I don't think open, he ever wants me to feel the pain I'll make he suffers. Money again. Just I'm like old Tom. I have to choose. No matter the outcome, I'll always respect your decision. How about a drink? Welcome to the wretching netch, Outlander. Well, well. Agile's got himself a spy, does he? Azura knows he needs all the help he can get. He's been chasing the Ulins for years now. No. I just think he's going about this the wrong way. Actually, I do. 
If you want to catch those slippery slaughter fish, you need to let them come to you. There's an Ulan ancestral tomb near the temple. Someone's been leaving ash yam offerings on the altar inside. If you were to wait inside for whomever that is, I'm betting they'll have some of the answers you're looking for. What makes you think I have it? Any time Adril and the Redoran Guard made a move, the Ulans must have been one step ahead and didn't show up. Adril, you can thank me if it works. Bethis, Until then, the I'd head to the tomb and wait until your visitor shows up. Like I'd requested. You and I both know we can't spare the finest who jammed across your lips, friend. In fact, I've just added some new ingredients to the mixture. All I need to do is get the war out when it's ready, and they'll flock here for it. I was kind of hoping you'd say that. Here, take these samples of the Sujama and spread the word. If you get rid of all of them, there's something extra in it for you. You look able to venture outside of town. Perhaps you could help me recover something precious that was lost. Oh, how kind. Thank Geldas for me, won't you? Good journey, traveler. Hmm. Well, tell Geldas that Miri says she really appreciates it. And don't stay away for too long. It gets lonely out here, you know. On this remote island. Oh, hello. Are you looking for a handout or something? Find my p You got a good thing going here now that you've reopened the mines. Don't let it go to waste. Well, well. It's been a long time since someone from the guilds bothered to make their way out here. So tell me, how's my brother Delvin? Still spending his nights at the Ragged Flagon trying to win Vex's heart? Adro, a word. Good to hear. Damn layabout never even bothers to send his own flesh and blood a letter saying how he's doing. Can you imagine? Anyway, I suppose you're looking for work. Well, I got bad news. This place is drier than a damn bone. Eager to make some coin, eh? That's the spirit. I'll tell you what. The guild's got a problem out here that I've been trying to deal with for years, but haven't been able to handle. Don't look at me like that. I'm all alone out here, with no one to watch my back. And besides, it's really my problem anyway. I caused it. A fellow Breton who went by the name Esmond Tyne showed up at my doorstep about a fortnight ago. He noticed the shadow marks like you did, and I thought he was one of us. That he did, right out from under my nose. Can you believe it? It's my own formula for improved bone mold. It took me years to perfect. Well, before he ran off, he was talking some nonsense about trying to fence goods to the Reeklings at Castle Karstag. I told him he was crazy to even think about talking to those vicious little buggers. But he wouldn't listen. I'd bet a fat purse a coin that he's either dead or hiding out up there. You do that, and I'll make sure you're set up right. You won't be disappointed. Perfect. I was just thinking about heading over for a drink. Thanks for saving me the trip. You tell Crescious he better give that pickaxe back to me, or else. It's busier now that things are starting to look up. I guess I might stay a bit longer after all. Mining gear? No. However, I used to sell East Empire pendants until I ran out of them. Popular little item. It's an amulet that was made exclusively for the East Empire Company. They gave them to their workers as an incentive at one point. A kind of reward for extra effort. They're no longer being made, so they've become a collectible. I'd love to get my hands on a few of them. They could be anywhere on the island. The mines might be a good place to start. If you find any while you're exploring Solstheim, bring them here, and I'll pay you for them. Geldis needs to bottle this up and send it to the mainland instead of wasting his time out here. His drinks are outstanding. Thanks. The 
East Empire pendants are scattered all over, so leave no stone unturned. Find my pickaxe yet? So, you finally tracked down old Crescius, eh? Quite a character, isn't he? Tell you what, since you went through all the trouble of finding it for me and all, you keep it. I just wanted to remind that codger you can't just go around taking things from other people. Now that you've delivered the message, I'm satisfied. Besides, that pickaxe hasn't done me any good in years. Maybe you can put it to good use. Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. I work for Mogul. You got a problem, you talk Teldrin to Sero, blade for hire. If you have the call. <sighs> Working on those standing stones feels like a bad dream. Sorry, Gildas won't allow me to drink while I'm working at Vanetch. All right then. Citizen. Citizen, can I help you? Traveling beyond the bulwark will be much safer as a result of your victory at Fort Frostmoth. Many thanks. Good old Geldis is always managing to keep our spirits up and our eyesight hazy. Thank you. With the mines open. Raven Rock has become a significant colony of the Dunma people again. I've been able to convince my superiors at House Redoran to send me the resources that they've been denying, now that we're deemed more important. Soon, we'll have a steady supply of workers and materials to keep things going for years to come. My doors are open if you wish to discuss matters involving Raven. You may have everyone fooled, but I see what you're doing here. Get that vile liquid away from me. You honor the reclamations with your actions. This will not be forgotten. The reclamations are the true tribunal. The Daedra that consecrate the Dunmer people, Azura, Methala, and Boethia. We call them the true tribunal because they have reclaimed their place in our hearts from the false tribunal that came before. Sotha, Sil, Amalexia, and Vivek represent what was being who won the Dunmer people's hearts with their actions, but blinded them just the same. They were aberrations, false prophets. They used their status as heroes to shield the true tribunal from our minds. But now that they've been destroyed, the light can finally shine upon the House of Reclamation. May Azura, Mafala, and Boethia guide you. Excuse me, but the temple is for followers of our faith alone. Outsiders, huh? Hey, watch it! Modin Veleth, captain of the Redoran Guard, at your service. I've had to muster some more men to protect the mine. But I don't really have a problem with that. Second Councillor Arano is concerned that once word reaches the Reavers that the mine has reopened, they might think about paying us a visit. I say let them try. My men are ready for them. Ah, this is Bornwald armor. 
Quite impressive, wouldn't you say? It's fashioned from actual bone that's been reinforced with a resin-like material and then shaped to form the armor plating. It might appear brittle, but I'd wager it could stop the blow of a weapon better than iron or steel. Thank you for your assistance. It's raised my men's spirits quite a bit. Northern Maiden is ship shape and Captain Gyalan does the business I... I'm just a ship's mate. There's nothing finer than Dark Elf Sujama. Like nectar it is. May the wind be at your back. Yes? I've been sailing the Northern Maiden across the Sea of Ghosts for nearly 20 years now. It might be time to find a new home port, though. The way things are going around here. May the wind be at your back, friend. Can I help you? You've brought so much hope to our people. We are forever in your debt. Sure, got nothing better to do. May your path be free from danger. It gets lonely out here, you know. On this remote island. This town bores me. How much longer must we stay in this wretched place? If everything goes well, we hey, won't have watch to stay it. here much longer. Excuse me. I didn't realize there was anyone else here. I presume the same thing you're doing, leaving an offering for the departed. Forgive my surprise. It's just that I wouldn't expect that sort of behavior from someone who isn't Dunma. Since there aren't any Ulans left on this island, I've taken it upon myself to leave the traditional offering in their stead. What do you mean? I thought I was clear. I'm simply honoring a fellow departed Dunma. Now if you'll excuse me, I'd like to meditate a bit. Please, I don't wish to be disturbed while I'm meditating. 
I hope Geld has proved useful. Have you made any progress? What? Oh, no, thank you. I need to keep my I head have a clear. Word with you, counselor. Of course. Tell us, you Are Which you sure? You? I was concerned about our food stores. Jowling I appreciate the help so you've much. been giving us. You've I'll brought Ravenrock back from the brink, traveler. The I don't know how to thank you. Tell us, you. Good journey, traveler. Are you sure? So Geldus's plan worked, eh? Every time we tried it, no one would ever show up. If Telesu's involved in any sort of plot to harm Councillor Morvain, I'm going to need hard evidence to prove it. I'm not kicking down anyone's door until I have solid evidence in hand. If you're wrong about Telesu, things would quickly go downhill around here, and the real culprits might slip away. I can't afford for that to happen. If you have evidence, and it places your life in peril, I would expect you to do whatever you must to keep yourself alive. Here, this key should open the front door of the manor in case they've locked it. Good luck. Telesu is wife to the family patriarch, Vendor. They have a single child, a daughter named Miri. They arrived here ten years ago, and have been nothing but a benefit to Raven Rock ever since. They are quite wealthy, and they've been quite generous by sharing their fortune with the community. They've contributed coin, food, supplies, even helped repair a few of the buildings in town with their own hands. People have mentioned it's a bit odd about how close in age Mary appears to be to her answer. father, but that's hardly a cause indeed. for alarm. What troubles you? Just make I sure you find solid evidence. Jowling if I accuse them without so it, I'll be journey. the laughing stock of the no, colony. I'll speak with Gary. Be careful. If the Severans have betrayed us, then they'll be well armed. If you're looking for the East Empire Company, they've been gone for over a hundred years. Mogul doesn't lend coin to outlanders. I'll Look give you this warning around. only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. Fight well. Your actions here have been a blessing to us all, Sergio. Always a pleasure to taste anything Geldis comes up with. Next time I don't know who sent you here. You've given us something to build on here. That I should problem. mix some of this I into my next potion. Who knows what would happen? Remember, I have plenty of potions and ingredients if you're ever in the market. Look at me. I'm a different person. There's something you need? The day I refuse Sujama from Geldis is the day I sprout wings and fly off this rock. See you in the mines. Captain Gyalin does the business. With the Aspon threat taken Welcome care to of, the Retching Netch Corner Club, home of a finest well, Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. Perfect. All that's left now is to go ahead and wait for the patrons to come in. As promised, here's a little something for yourself. When a Dunmer is laid to rest, the body is burned and returned to the ashen soil. 
Since the ash yam is born of the very same soil, it represents rebirth and renewal. The fact that life ends and begins anew. I don't know if I Back in 95, Vila Ulin came to Raven with a plan to take over our town. He's never been but the Fetcher thought he could stir up the locals and use them against the Redoran Guard and then murder Councilman Morvane when we were point, going to have to choose. No matter the outcome, he arrived alone, your but spread enough corn around to start changing people's minds. Half the bloody town joined his side. Can you believe that? He underestimated the Redoran Guard. They were organized and brought a swift end to the coup. Vila tried to run, but he was caught by Captain Velleth himself. Vila Ulan was executed a short time later, and his remains placed in the Ulan ancestral tomb. Apologies, Come back Adril. if you're feeling thirsty. In my experience, it's right. usually the quietest before the storm. allow you to ruin <clears throat> years of planning. Did you find any evidence at Severin Manor yet? Then we finally have them. All that remains now is chasing them down and bringing them to justice. Good. I'm going to send two of the best Reroran Guard we have to take them down. I want you to assist them any way you can. I'm afraid we're completely out of them. Sounds like you've had a rough See that you do. I can't afford to let these traitors slip away. How about I just settle for some mass tea and we'll forget I mentioned it? Villa Ulan wasn't the first Ulan to live in Raven Rock. His father, Valen Ulan, was one of the first Dunma to settle here. Unlike his son, Villa, Valen was a good man. He contributed to the community and was quite respected. At some point, you're going to. When Valen died. His family provided the funds to construct the tomb. The Ulan family being a part of House Lalu didn't matter. 
It's Danma's tradition for the ashes of the deceased to be placed in an ancestral tomb. Valen Ulan and his son's remains were both laid to rest there because that's what he'd requested. Ashfallow Citadel's been abandoned for a long time. I'm ready for it. Headed east. May want to. Come in. Let me know if we need anything. Take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. 
Well, what happened? Were you able to track down Vendel? Out with it! Then... It's finally over. What of the Rerran Guard? I sent to assist you. Damn it. I was hoping to protect our people by sending them, not end up with casualties. To think that Vendel would stoop so low as to hire those fetchers. I'm glad you killed him. Mm -hmm. Sounds wonderful. like you've had a rough day. Simply wonderful. Uh, Councillor Morvane will be I quite tried. pleased when he hears I'll about this. Settle for some mass tea and we'll forget I mentioned it. Follow me, and I'll take you to the councillor so you can speak to him yourself. You can go where you please, but I'd say stay inside the bulwark. smile on your face like that in a long time. This visitor has single-handedly dealt with a threat that could have ended your life. Vendel, Telesu, and Miri Severin weren't who they appeared to be. I'm afraid they were here to avenge Villa Ulan's death. Vendel? But he's done so much for Raven Rock. How could this be possible? They did it to gain our confidence, Counselor. They had us all fooled. I should have been more vigilant. I'm sorry. Don't say that. It's not your fault, old friend. And you, step forward. What I you've done Counselor for me, for all of Raven Rock, goes far beyond what I would have expected from a traveler to our town. For this, you have my deepest gratitude. Now. I'm certain Adriel was prepared to reward you appropriately for everything you've done. However, since a bit of coin hardly seems like enough, I've decided to provide something more substantial. Since the Severin family, or whoever they were, turned out to be criminals, their property is now forfeit. As counselor, I hereby award you Severin Manor everything contained within. You've earned your citizenship here, and I hope you'll consider staying with us as a member of our community. The mines are open and the ebony has begun to flow because of your discovery. My eternal gratitude and blessings go with you. I feel I owe you my life for thwarting the House Hlalu plot to have me assassinated. My deepest thanks. I do not blame you. I know he chose this. I just wish he had seen me. He was a good man. A strong center of the storm. If you know how to stop whatever happens, go and stop it.
Hmm? Tell Mithrin. It's the home of Master Naloth. You may have heard of him. He's a famous Telvanni wizard. In Morrowind, the Telvanni grow buildings from special fungus spores. Master Neloth grew one here to be his home. Don't ask me how. No, Talvis is his apprentice. I'm his steward. I manage the day-to-day -day affairs of Telmithrin. All right, then. to get anything done with pub Hmm? Can you? Of course you can. What took you so long to ask? I've been trying to adapt Redguard magic to the Ash. I think the key concept I'm missing is recorded in Afa Sariat's book, Wind and Sand. I have some associates and correspondents who find things for me. One of them has a credible rumor on where this book might be. And I'd like you to find the truth of the matter. Now, where did I put... Oh, yeah. some canis root tea. Obviously not, or you would have a cup of tea in your hands. I suppose you want to be asked nicely. Very well. Please, O oh hero of Skyrim, please find Verona. I shall be ever so grateful. I don't know, but I mean to find out. I still have some research to do before I'll know anything for certain. Now, where did I... Verona yet? I could really use some tea. Perhaps this particular source was worth more than I thought he was. It is. 
In any case, this is truly amazing. I think I can adapt this into a sort of whirlwind vortex energy. Yes, yes. I'll write it out. And you can pick up a copy from Talbis in a few days. In the meantime, take this for helping me. I suppose I could dig up a staff or two for you. Yes, Sarah? Is it tea time already? Well, Neloth's just going to have to wait. Verona went to Ravenrock to arrange for supplies. Mephala cloak you. Did she die? There are more and more of those things showing up around here lately. Now I suppose you'll have to find me a new steward. Try Raven Rock. They are in awe of me there. I'm sure almost anyone would be willing to serve me. Well, somebody needs to get me a new steward. It might as well be you. But if you don't want to help a master wizard of House Telpani, possibly earning his favor, you're a fool. Hmm, excellent question. Once word gets out, there will be a lot of people to choose from. Someone with a brilliant mind and a robust physique that is blindly obedient would be ideal. 
Oh, and they need to know how to brew tea. Wolves always waters it down. Uh, don't take too long finding me a steward. If you're looking for the East Empire, the Northern Maiden is ship shape and ready to go. I'll give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. Captain Gallen does the business around here. I'm just welcome to the Wretching Nets Corner Club, me lord. If you need anything, Master Geldis will be happy to help you. I can't thank you enough for reopening the ebony mines. You, you've succeeded where I've failed, by ending the threat to Councillor Morvane's life. I shall not forget it. I've known the Councillor since we were both quite young. We rose the ranks in House Redoran together. <laughs> when word arrived in Blacklight that the Councillor's father had passed, I was asked to sail to Raven Rock with him as his second. It meant passing on better opportunities at home. But I didn't want to leave his side. We fought quite a few battles together and saved each other's lives on more than one occasion. Our bond is our strength. We've always been at each other's side, and nothing will ever change that. I'm perfectly content with my current position. I'm pleased I with was. With the Aspawn threat the taken care of, I can give my men the rest Welcome they to deserve. The well well done, friend. friend. Are you nuts? Neil Arthur's crazy. Or he talks to mud crabs. It would have to be someone pretty desperate. You might ask my apprentice Drovis. Lately he seems to be hard up for coin. There's actually a funny story behind the name, friend. A few years ago, I was walking down by the docks. I noticed a Dunmer staggering along with a bottle of Sujama in hand. He was one of my patrons and liked to drink heavily, so I wasn't exactly surprised. Ah, but you see, this particular Dunmer was as naked as the day he was born and singing badly at the top of his lungs. As I'm watching this spectacle, a net floats over the bulwark towards him. The man looks straight up at Fenech, yells, have a drink, and tosses the bottle. And it never hit the ground. Well, the bottle broke on Fenech, and it must have swallowed its contents because it started floating sort of tilted. Finally, it stopped and began to quiver. A few moments later, the foulest liquid to ever assail your nostrils spewed from its maw. I've seen plenty of drunks in me day, and I'll tell you right now, that niche was sick. True story, friend. True story. Safe travels, Outlander. If you're looking for passage, talk to Captain Gallus. Destroying the ash spawn has made it safer to work in the fields. Not on your life. I'd sooner try to swim back to Windhelm. Remember, I have plenty of potions and ingredients. Your actions here have been a blessing to And leave my farm? No thank you. Next time you're hungry, stop by. I always have plenty of food to sell.
It's busier now that things are starting to look up. Don't be ridiculous. Who would run this place? Ask around at the wretching Nech. Someone there might be crazy enough, or drunk enough, to do it. The East Empire the mines are, are open and the all over. My so father no needs me. He can't run his market stand alone. Besides, Neloth is loony a schooner addict. He wanted my father to import a white mammoth alive. You could try Drover's Relvy. He came in here asking my father if he needed any odd jobs done. Seemed kind of desperate. Keep yourself safe. Solstein is still a dangerous place. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. You got a good thing going here now that you've reopened the mines. <laughs> Gods, that's rich. Work for Neloth. <laughs> I'll give you the... <laughs> Not on your life. I'd have to be truly desperate to do that. Hey, watch it! I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do? You brought Ravenrock. I could never leave Adril behind. And he will never leave Leryl. Besides, I'd never work for Nelov. I heard he cut the heart out of his former apprentice. Good journey, traveler. I feel I owe you my life for thwarting the house flow. At a days, may want to give Talmithrin a wide berth. I don't like the looks of that place, man. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I... I can't believe you found a way to reopen the mines. Nah, I don't think so. Anyway, I don't think he'd take on anyone that isn't a Dunmer. Thank you, stranger. Thanks for everything. I don't know what you did in those mines. Me? I hardly think so. That Telvanni wizard is unhinged. I heard he tries to drink the ash. Be careful out there. Google doesn't lend to Caldron Sarah played for hire. Look somewhere Captain Yellen does the, the call business call around here. I'm just a ship's service. Mate. Talk to Captain Galland if you're looking to book passage. Welcome to the Wretching Nets Corner Club, me lord. If you need anything, Master Geldis will be happy to help you. Uh, you mean leave Ravenrock for good? To go work for a crazed Telvani wizard? Sure. Just let me get me things. On second thought, never mind. I can get new stuff. Well, I've never been one to pass up an opportunity. Sorry to run, but I'm off to my new job. I'm off to take up my new position with Master Neil. This may be the frontier, but we've still... so soon? That Drovus man? I suppose he'll do. He makes dreadful Canis root tea, though. But I should be grateful. Here, take this for your efforts. Oh, and you may use my staff enchanter if you want. Curse these heart stones! The man makes a dreadful cup of Canis root tea. However, he 
He seems to run the place well enough. Oh, were you fishing for a compliment, a sign of gratitude? Don't waste your time. Those things are for the weak and foolish. I've been having difficulties with my heart stone experiments. Have you heard of the Briar Heart? They are fierce warriors of the Forsworn tribes. They actually remove their own hearts and replace them with large briar seeds. It puts their life sparks in direct connection to the natural forces. I need you to examine one of them. Just investigate as much as you can. I'm going to put this memory trace spell on you so you won't have to worry about taking notes. I doubt you could know what was important anyway. Well, I'm hoping to do something similar. If I could connect a living being to the forces of the Red Mountain, well, that would be formidable. I've done some experiments in this area, but, well, my test subjects are far too fragile. I'm hoping to learn some of the Briarheart techniques, their methods. I would venture out myself, but long voyages are dangerous and risks are precisely what people The Forsworn live in the hills on the western edge of Skyrim. From there you're on your own. I'm given to understand that they are not difficult to find if you gather my inference. Perhaps later. For now I have a slightly more personal request. You see, I'm a collector of staffs, magical staffs, in particular those made by Azra Nightwilder. Through some divinations, I believe I've located one. If you retrieve it, I'll give you a staff of my own making. Knight Wielder's creations don't really hold up in comparison to what can be made today, but they have a sentimental value for me. You understand? He was the original Shadow Mage. His advances in magic are legendary. Less well known is that he was also a pioneer in the field of enchanting staffs. Every staff of his that I have uncovered has led me to greater understanding. Today we would consider his techniques rudimentary, but the genius is still evident. Are we done? I thought so. Good day, friend. Keep him well. Good day, friend. Keeping well? How am I supposed to get anything done with part of the tower withered like this? If you're going to be up here, stay out of my way. He was the original Shadow Mage. His advances in magic are legendary. 
Less well known is that he was also a pioneer in the field of enchanting staffs. Every staff of his that I have uncovered has led me to greater understanding. Today we would consider his techniques rudimentary, but the genius is still evident. You didn't have to speak a word. I could sense it the moment you came in. You've proven your worth, and I'm as good as my word. Take this staff from my personal collection. I think you'll find it useful. Oh, have you? Well, let me just extract those memories, and I'll see if you've found anything useful. I promise that any unrelated memories I run across will be kept in the strictest of confidences. Here. You deserve a bit of a reward for your efforts. That was a lengthy trip for you, I'm sure. There are too many coincidences. There must be someone behind all of my recent troubles. It's good to have everyone not running off to that damn sacred stone every night. I suppose I have you to thank for that. There are too many coincidences. There must be someone behind all of my recent troubles. The connecting soul thread is knotted three times. Once for the heart, once for the spirit, and once for the body. The knot gives the connection a strength that may be the key that I've been looking for. Yes, I have enemies, legions of them back in Morrowind. However, in this case, I have reason to believe it is someone in Solstheim. Not yet. That may come later. First, I need to identify the culprit. I've enchanted this ring to find the source of the attacks. Here, take it. Ash spawn keep appearing. One night, a part of my tower mysteriously withered. Then my steward was killed. You had to find me a replacement. I've even been attacked by dragons. Do I need to go on? Maybe not. I hear they've been seen over Skyrim, too. Even so, there is more than enough evidence that someone is out to get me. Just wear it. It will light up the source when you get close to it. I enchanted the ring with a bit of ash from the last ash spawn attack. It can follow the magical link back to its summoner. The link is weak, so you'll have to be within about a hundred feet of the source. I could, but I won't. It wouldn't do to have you become better than me, after all. Try walking around the grounds with the ring on. something
as that lazy steward of mine. Verona, oh no, wait, she's dead. Drovers! Hmm, I've known for decades that harpstones will animate the ash, but it would have to be very close by. Where exactly did you find this hearthstone? Ildari? Then it was my own fault. She was my apprentice before Talos. She volunteered for one of my experiments involving hearthstones. It was quite annoying when she died. What? That's impossible. Wait. This she didn't actually die. The heart stone could have kept her right at the edge of life and death. Could it be? Could Ildari still be alive? Could she be my nemesis? Wait a moment while I cast a more specific divination. does live, after all. She thought she could hide from me, but she can't. She's holed up in High Point Tower. Go rip that thrice-cursed heart stone from her chest. I don't have time to go traipsing all over Solstheim. If I don't hear back from you after a while, you're probably dead. Maybe I'll send Talvis out next. Be sure to bring back an amusing story of how Ildori died.
Thank you for rescuing me. That witch was gonna kill me soon. I just know it. We were digging in these mines when she found us. She was hurt so bad, we took pity on her and nursed her back to health. She repaid our kindness by attacking us in the middle of the night. Those of us that didn't die were made prisoners. Horrible things. Experiments. And worse. I'm the last one. The others are all dead now. If you find her, don't make her end quick. First I'm gonna leave this place as fast as I can. Then I'm gonna get on the first boat to the mainland. Good luck to you. Nello is a sight. fool to think he could send some lowlife to finish me off. something.
You're alive! Hope that bodes ill for Ildare. Well, well. You have proven to be a more valuable ally than I anticipated. I have a staff for you, but I would also like to make you a member of my household. A member of House Telvane. No need to thank me. I know you are overwhelmed with gratitude. For now, not much. But in a few decades, when I return to Vardenfell, you would be seen as Morrowind nobility. In the meantime, we would keep a bed and chest here for you. Are we done? I thought so.
whom has the mastery. Climb aboard, and I will carry you to Mira.
little thief who escaped me merely like that. You can hide nothing from me here. No matter, I have found a new dragonborn to serve me. May he be rewarded for his service as I am. Mira, Harper, and she's a rebellion against me. No, an easy example. Serve me faithfully, and you will continue to be richly rewarded. My son and I gather items to trade with travelers. I can feel it. The tree stone is free again. The oneness of the land is restored. Does that mean... Is it over? Is Mirak defeated? Thank you. Whatever your other reasons for acting, you have done the Skull a great service. We will not forget what you have done. One more thing, Skull friend, if you will. I know it is not my place, but may I offer a word of advice, of warning? As Shaman of the Skull, 
I am charged with the spiritual well-being of my people. While you are not of the Skull, you are Skull friend, and so I give you this warning. Hermamora forced you to serve him in order to defeat Mira. Do not let him lure you further down the path. The Allmaker made you Dragonborn for a higher purpose. Do not forget that. Walk with the Allmaker, Skull friend. My father was a noble man, and a true Skull. I have been preparing for it all my life. There is no question that I'm ready, but... It is not right that I should say this, because I must honor my father's wishes, but... This is a path I never chose. I always thought that I would be a great hunter, or even a village chieftain. <laughs> not if Fanari has anything to say about it. When it comes to being chieftain, she is like a wolf with her jaws clamped tight upon a fresh kill. But that's alright. The Skull need a shaman, and I know that is my place. Join you? You mean leave the village to journey with you and fight at your side? Well, I flatter, but the village is my home. It's very rare for one of the Skull to leave, and I have responsibilities here. You're right. I suppose the others can get by without me for a while. Very well. If you need my help, seek me out here in the village. I'll make her guide you. We just keep waiting for Bujo to say the word. It is good to see you again, my friend. Did you find the elves at their ship? I know you face great danger to bring this map to me. No words to tell how glad. Thank you, Grey. I name you Friend of the Skull, and I will trust you with the knowledge of forging the Stalwin. If you bring Stalwin here to my forge, you can use my tools to make what you will from it. Until our next meeting, Skull Friend. May your hunts always bring you game, and your crops grow tall and bountiful. I fear to think what would have happened if you hadn't saved me from the elves. First, you'll need to obtain some stall room, of course, and then you'll need to work it. With skill and patience, it's very much like work in ebony. Yes. I'd say if you know how to forge ebony, you know everything you need to know in order to forge stall room. I heard from Dira how you went in search of Baldur. That was very brave, and in fact, that's just the kind of courage I'm looking for. Quite right, quite right. This, however, is paying work. Allow me to explain. As a scholar of history, I've always found Solstheim to be most intriguing. I've made many forays into the ancient ruins that cover the island. I've come to know those ruins so well, I could draw you a map from memory. That's why I noticed the new passage the moment I laid eyes on it. An old tomb, I think. It must have been opened by an earthquake that accompanied one of the Red Mountain's eruptions. I'd love to have a closer look. Those old ruins can be dangerous, and I'm no adventurer. I'll pay you to watch my back down there. I'll be heading back there soon. If you're interested, meet me at the ruins and we'll see what we can find. Now I'm off to pack for the expedition. The weapons of the skull will never be dull. Baldor Iron Shaper tends the forge. I welcome you, friend of the Skull. The others call you a friend, but I still see an outsider. It's good to see you again, Skull friend. By saving Baldor, you helped to preserve our sacred. I fear what would have happened if you hadn't freed us. The blood of wolves runs through your veins, Skull friend. In days past. My brother Torkild and I would share the hunt, but that was long ago. I wish I could tell you. He had a wild gleam in his eye, more so than most. In my darkest times, I fear he fell in among the werebears of the glacier. 
twisted beasts, a curse of here seen. True bears are noble and great creatures of the wild. But the Daedra have no skill for creation, so they befile the Allmaker's workings. I've heard tell of men who, by curse or by heart's desire, become transformed into one of those vile things. It is a pitiable fate, and one that I fear has fallen to my brother. He set off from here so long ago, it's hard to say. Could be in Hammerfell for all I know. If you happen to cross his path, be wary. He was a fierce warrior as a man. If he fell prey to his more bestial side, he could be deadly. He never felt the call of the Allmaker as I do, as we all should. We seek to live in peace with the land, but he had an eye for dominance and strength. For unnatural strength, you need look no further than the beasts of this island, mangled by the Daedra. It's not a fate I would wish on anyone, and not what I wanted for my brother. Good day. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Another letter from Rallis. He's starting to scare me a little. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. I don't know what you did in those mines, but what a smile on Precious' face. Never seen him so happy. Seems you've inherited a situation. Trovus Relvi owes me 1,000 septums. At least he did until you set him up with that Telvanni wizard. Now he's untouchable. The way I figure it, it's your fault he can't pay me. So I guess I'm going to have to collect it from you. Take your best shot, Fetcher. But if you draw on me, the guards will put a bounty on your head, not mine. I'll give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. Tired of running? I knew you were weak. Now pay me. Nothing for now, but watch your back. I'll be sending collectors to find you. They won't ask so nicely. One way or the other, I'll get my money. Sooner or later, they all pay. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Are you ready to pay me yet? If you're dealing with me, there's only one thing to remember. Pay your debts or end up hurt. I might lend coin to people that need it. But I never lend to strangers, so shove off. I don't know you, and the last thing I want is a stranger with his nose in my business. Go away. I can tell you don't like me. Well, guess what? I don't give a damn. Fast mistake. You've committed crimes against the Dunmer people of Solstar. What say you and your defense? Well, I suppose I could forget that I saw you this time.
Oblivion and back. Need me to carry something? May the hist guide us. I was hoping I wouldn't see you quite so soon. Yes, well, the mercenaries did their jobs. Worth every cent. Of course, they might disagree. The dead ones, anyway. Gods, what a disaster. I feel like we've done this before. But that just means we're getting good at it. You go make the Draugr dead again, and I'll keep the rest of these Enwars from running off.
I can count on you, at least. I think we're almost to the bottom of the barrel, but it's going to be everything I can do to find more miners. We've developed quite the reputation, but for enough gold, I can do it. Just barely. Five thousand. I know, you could almost buy a house for that much, but like I said, we've got quite the reputation out here. And coin is the only counterweight for a bad reputation. Have you got the money? Good, good. This time I'll spring for some more experienced muscle. That should do the trick. Look, this can be a slow business. Digging takes time.
remarkable, isn't it? This tomb has been hidden for... Well, who knows how... I've had a look around, and the only interesting thing I've found is this inscription here. This... By the hist, what a sight! Now, I'm not sure if you can read the dragon language, but this seems to be a riddle of some sort. A sacrifice will bring you closer to that which you seek. I wonder what it means. Mind your step. There seem to be some corpses strewn about on the floor here. I wonder if this fire pit has anything to do with the riddle. You go ahead and see what you can figure out. I'll look around and see if I can find anything of use. Who knows what dangers await us in this place? Hmm. Perhaps something is meant to go into the fire? Yes, of course. It said, a sacrifice will bring you closer to that which you seek. Right behind you. Other than that plaque, there doesn't seem to be anything else worthy of note. Let's see what the inscription says. All men must die, often by their own means. Sounds rather grim if you ask me. The inscription must be a reference to these pillars. Three pillars surrounding a central one. Perhaps they're connected somehow. They also have glowing stones of some kind at the top. They look vaguely similar to drawings I've seen of objects called impact stones. Well, see what you can figure out. I'm going to inspect these pillars further to see if I've missed something. See what mysteries await us in the next room.
Ravenwood who defeated someone named Mirak. In fact, if I'm reading this correctly, it says that Mirak was a traitor. Most interesting. There's probably an exit through one of these sarcophagi. Let's get moving. Preserved. Fortune has truly smiled on us. himself a man or a dragon. It looks like a secret entrance opened up along the wall. You lead the way. Walking in these chambers is like walking in the past. Ah, so that's where that goes. All right, let's see what we have next. Here's another riddle. Stay your course, to idle is to die. Well, at least it's straightforward. There appears to be a switch of some kind here. I'll just stand over here while you flip that switch. Five and nine, I've never seen anything like this. Thank <laughs> you. 
going to survive that boat, let alone those things in the Another of those dragon language inscriptions. I wonder what it says. Just let me study these runes for a moment. 
Hmm. Here's another mention of the guardian. I only assume that this is the guardian's tomb we're standing in now. It says that he was loyal, and his reward was an honorable death. Quite fascinating. How amazing! A real dragon priest! In all my years as a historian, I never thought I'd see anything like that. I suppose that was Valak. He must have had this entire place built for him so that he could maintain his vigil, even beyond death. Indeed. I knew that the dragon priests were thought to have been powerful men of great will, but I had no idea. Well, I suppose I've seen everything I came for. You kept up your end of the bargain. I promised payment, and here it is. Now I think I'll spend some more time studying this word war. What a book this will make! This place is all I'd hoped, and much more. This is clearly a tomb, if a rather elaborate one. I would guess it was built for a dragon priest who achieved great fame in his time. It seems he was held in high regard by both men and dragons, because he defeated a traitor named Mirak. Perhaps Mirak was also a dragon priest, probably a contemporary of this guardian. He must have turned against his own order. After his defeat, Mirak was banished to Solstheim, and the guardian was made his jailer. I've been thinking about that, and I believe it does. I believe it was the ancient ancestors of the Skull who built this tomb for their master, the dragon priest they called the Guardian. In all likelihood, these people were ancient Nords who came with the dragon priest to live here on Solstheim. Separated from their people on the mainland, they developed a distinct culture that became the Skull we know today. Of course, this is all just theory and conjecture. It is likely we will never know the truth. A good question. Partly to keep unwanted intruders away, I suppose. They might also have been meant as tests to ensure that only the truly worthy can reach the main burial chamber. Who can say, really? The motives of the dragon priests are as inscrutable as those of the dragons they worship. Right then.
Who? Thirst for sky. All make a craves the night of sun. He hears the underslate of blood dust. Maker craves the night of sun. He hears the underslake of blood dust. I came here to study the history of Soul's time. That was quite an adventure we had, wasn't it? The blood of wolves runs through your veins, Skull friend. This is by his hand, for certain. It looks like I was right. He was taken in by that. Where did you find this? I... I understand. That's not an existence I would wish on anyone. I hope you gave him a swift end. Good. Thank you for setting my mind to rest. Now I can hope the Allmaker will show mercy to him in the beyond. Let me impart some of the wisdom of a skull to you. You've done me a service. I will do you one in kind. The historian has not stopped speaking your praises. The elders talk of great sins much bigger than our village. I but fear what would have happened if you hadn't freed us. May the gods watch over your battles, friend.
Oblivion and back. Need me to carry something? Let's tread softly. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. I don't care if he's a master wizard. He can't treat me like this. That fetcher told me to fix his house. If I don't, he'll find a new mycologist who will. Decades of loyal service, and he'd just throw me out like yesterday's breakfast. Three tap roots soaked in the headwaters of the Harstrad River. I'm an old woman. I can't possibly make that trip. It's way too dangerous. If you get some tap roots, I'll pay you to dip them in the headwaters and bring them to me. It's special to the Spriggans. They seem to like to gather there. Something about the waters attracts them. There are bound to be some there, so be careful. Every type of fungus in Solstheim or Skyrim. Oh, and a few other ingredients and potions. Yes, that was a lifetime ago. I was just a young girl when Red Mountain erupted. Master Neloth was already old. My mother put me on a boat to Skyrim. The last time I ever saw her, she was standing on the dock as my ship sailed away. I am his mycologist. He may have grown Tel Mithrin by himself, but I nurture it. Mushrooms and fungi are my life's work. When I saw Tel Mithrin, I knew I had to be here. I've learned so much since then. Me? No. That's Master Neloth's doing. I wasn't even born then. It's Telvani magic at its best. He brought the cuttings with him from Morrowind, and used sorcery to grow them. Zora, light your steps.
Damn that man. He's being totally unreasonable. I don't care if he's a master wizard. He can't treat me like this. Truly? Well done. I'll just keep two of them for myself. No need for Neloth to know. Take that last taproot and plant it into the wall of the withered house. Azora, light your steps. Let me get a good look at you. Incipient madness, loss of self-awareness, black spots in the whites of the eyes. Any of the documented indications of Hermaeus Mora's permanent influence? Hmm? No, you look fine. Well, at least no different than when I first saw you. Who? Oh, him. Well, I assume you killed him. Or Hermaeus Mora turned on him when you looked like the winning bet? Or a bit of both? Mirak's influence has vanished from Solstein. So, I assumed you handled things. Why? Did something interesting happen? Well, that is what you hero types do, isn't it? I wasn't expecting anything less. Now all that's left are these black books. It's a shame I haven't located any more. So much more to be learned. Do you need all your toes? I could really use a fresh toe for... Uh, never mind. You aren't moldy enough. Finally, I can get back to work. Yes? Mm -hmm.
Defeating Mirak was an impressive feat. I'm curious to see if Hermaeus Mora seeks you out because of it. I'm running low on heartstones. If you have any with you, I'll buy one. Otherwise, I can tell you where you might find one. Excellent. I'll take it. Here, have some septums. Finally, I can get back to work. I wonder if a dragon could be captured alive. It would make a fascinating test subject.
being totally unreasonable. Good. Now maybe Neloth will get off my back about it. I suppose you think you should get paid for helping an old woman. Here, take these. I'll sell you more if you come back later. Mafala cloak you.
grazie. something lead I'll follow
Yes. Take a look.
lead on. Need me to carry something? Let's tread softly. something.
I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I've got another letter from Rallis, but this is the last thing I'm delivering for him. That place is just too much for me. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Where is that lazy steward of mine? Verona? Oh no, wait, she's dead. Well, I believe I've discovered a new form of silence. Some philosophers postulate seven orders of silence, but I believe there's an eighth. If you allow me, I'd like to envelop you in the eighth form to study the mental effects. What do you say? That's unfortunate. I'll have to use Talvis again. He's a bit of a screamer. Although, maybe this could solve two problems. What do you say? Excellent. If this works, I'll prepare a version that you can cast yourself, if you ever wish to inflict, uh, study silence. That's unexpected. I presume you are blind, given the state of your eyes. Master Nello, what have you done to him? What are those things growing out of his eyes? It's nothing that can't be fixed. The spell, that is. I think I can fix the spell. It should only take a couple more years. But first I need some data. Try wiggling them. No, don't shake your fist. Wiggle the tentacle thing. Where your eyes used to be. The way they are waving about, I'm assuming they aren't under your control. And I see now that your tongue is also. Well, it's uh, probably best if I don't say. Uh, don't bother trying to scream, girl. It looks like it's beginning to wear off. Is it over yet? Does he have eyes again? I mm, your I eyes appear to be completely back to normal. Interesting. I suppose I do. It's too bad it wore off so quickly, though. Unfortunately, you don't appear to be suffering from any side effects. Anyway, take this for your time. Any luck tracking down Esmond? I told him not to head up there. Sounds like the bloody fool got what he deserved. Here, I want you to take this key. Head inside my house and unlock the door in the basement. Help yourself to whatever you like inside. I won't be using it anymore. I've always had a steady stream of work thanks to the Redoran Guard, so it hasn't affected me much. However, I've seen the smile on people's faces, and there's hope around here once again. Something we've been lacking for a long time. Bring your weapons and armor to me. You've been a good friend to me. That means something.
You got a good thing going here now that you've reopened the mines. Don't let it go to waste.
Since I got here to, to uh, Colbyor, I've heard whispers, voices, thoughts, imaginings. They've only gotten louder since I've stayed, pounding, driving. A couple of times I blacked out. It was, it was just before the Draugr woke up. What? I don't really know. Maybe. It's what... It's what he wanted. He just needed their energy. I don't know. I hope I didn't. But maybe I... Please, you have to believe me. Lead on, brother. What? No, you can't... I have his will on my side. He will command all of us.
to oblivion and back, as they say. Need me to carry something? Let's tread softly.
Where have you been? What is it? That's it? All right. from some adventure, I bet. We have a cozy little prophet. Here, this is your share, love. Here, this is fresh. I'll have another meal ready tomorrow. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Goodbye, my love. And if Alduin wins, man is gone from this world. Lost in the shadow of the black wings unfurled. Then came the tongues on that terrible day. Steadfast as winter, they entered.
are you so easily swayed? No, not yet. We should greet our guest first. And so the first Dragonborn meets the last Dragonborn at the summit of Apocrypha. No doubt, just as Hermaeus Mora intended, he is a fickle master, you know. But now I will be free of him. My time in Apocrypha is over. You are here in your full power, and thus subject to my full power. You will die, and with the power of your soul, I will return to Soul's time and be master of my own fate once again. Cruise it, Rat! The Holy Field! Yeah! Yeah! yeah.
I have served you for long enough. Did the army over?